Yo, what's up, guys? Hello, Om Nom Dots. Welcome in. Dragoon, huh? Dragoon is hard. Well, it isn't just Dragoon, it's Melee that's hard. Um, and I would say Melee is really a test of... It's a lot of test of skill up until a certain point. Um, so you just have to get more... I, I, I would say just getting more runs in is part of it, too. Also, something to bear in mind is that a lot of people prog on different jobs. So to do your initial prog on Dragoon, I mean, to get that far, three weeks at 107 is still very respectable, in my opinion. Um, that is still a very respectable amount of floors that you're on. So definitely don't get discouraged, especially if that is the one you're destined to do. Um, you will- there are people who totally, uh, is that a lag? Or is this just my GCD? There are- oh, that's my GCD, what the hell? Um, there are definitely people who stuck with certain melee, like Ninja and, and Monk and stuff, and got their title. So you're definitely not chasing something impossible, you're chasing something very, very difficult. Um, but keep at it. Keep trying, in my opinion, and that's the job you want to go for, you'll get it eventually. Good hello, by the way, everyone. How are you all doing? Mage Gunner, thanks for that resub. Uh, Kiyama, hello. Night Vision, hello. Who else did I miss here? Um, Ludar is here. Count is here. Jason, you're here. Oscar, you're here. What's up? Do, do, you're here. Hello. Gara, hello. Um. Yeah, I mean, bear in mind also, like, one thing if you're looking at my video, I, yeah, I, I do make it look easy. But to be fair, that's also like, that was the final melee I had to do. So I have all this melee experience on top of Dragoon. Like, if I had done Dragoon as my first melee. I think it would be a much different story, um, but Dragoon, I've already done like the three other ones, or at the time, the three other ones extensively before I stepped into Dragoon. Um, honestly, that I think, I think if anything, that might be a run that would have benefited me posting my fails, because I think I failed that run four times before... I think I failed Dragoon three times before I finally cleared, so it did take me a while to clear, um, relatively speaking. But, no, yeah, man, just keep trying. I mean... Keep trying, keep practicing it. Um, it. It really will teach you how to survive on that job. So you have to think survival, you have to really use that full kit. Eventually you get better. Hello, hello. Good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday, happy reset day. Uh, as you can see, I did decide on Warrior. Um, funny enough, uh, if, you, if anyone was here when I was discussing what I might do today, um, a little bit, a little bit did come down to like maybe if I had leveled and got and unlocked Warrior on Primal, that I would use that as kind of a leveling method for me to do, uh, for me to do Warrior. So I go with Primal. Um, I would have Warrior unlocked, and then uh, I would like climb on Warrior so I can level Warrior. Slash. Um, but the thing was, I can't even transfer out of Primal anyway until like li like legitimately like an hour from now. So that was just out of the picture. Um, and so I just I decided uh, I'll just do Warrior in my main anyway. And this gives me an excuse to farm Tomes. I didn't do Expert on purpose. Um, so I'll just do Tomes today. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna do Warrior. I think I'm gonna commit to Warrior. It was either Scholar or Warrior. Pretty much was, it was pretty much down to Scholar or Warrior, and I wanted to stick with Warrior. We've done a lot of Warrior. A lot of Warrior. But I'm still up for more Warrior, so we'll do Warrior. Um, I am going to do 180 without looking at anyone's video first. I want to see if I can construct it my own strategy. And then thereafter, there's a couple of bots I can look at if we fail. But I will try to construct my own strategy on, on Warrior for now. Um, Missive Hello. Koopa Kwan, hey man, thanks for the six months of support. I really appreciate that. What's up, dude? How you doing? Happy Tuesday! You're in a 131 with Reaver. Nice, okay. Warm that Reaper up. Tomahawk buff gonna be big, dude. Tomahawk buff, Tomahawk buff buff is like a game changer, man. It is gonna be the reason everyone clears pals to dead. Actually, that's what I joked in my tweet. The massive buff on warrior. The most, the most biggest ever buff on warrior. No, heaven on high is the same. It's just palace, man. It's that tomahawk and palace. Heaven on high is just an order. Ek Valio. Necromancer, Ekvalio, there's something... Thank you. Necromancer, 
Ekvalio, recent necromancer. What's up, dude? Thanks for the five months of support. I really appreciate that. Warrior nearly made you near the rage could be palace. Yeah, I mean, Warrior... Whenever I go in Warrior, I've done Warrior like one time in Shadowbringers. I know what I'm walking into. I know the Berserk thing. So it's like I already just kind of settled the fact that we have Berserk now in a release, and we'll just play with it. And I've done it before. It's just, you know, it's like I have to like mentally be ready for this. And that's what we, that's what I am at. I'm mentally ready for this. I'm so happy starting Warrior Run. I'm at, at the moment to finish this run. Alright, I hope to help you out. And I think that's what's going to be the fun to you about, um, about trying to just like blind frog 180. Um, because it will then kind of be this like thought, like this thought, this, this, uh, this whole brainstorming of ideas that I want to go for. And whether it's right or it's wrong, again, this is going to be like the bar thing where I have to do it myself. I have to, I have to hit the buttons. I have to be in the, in the actual place myself and then I'll get a better understanding of what's going on. I can watch a video, but man, I can only absorb so much information, and then also it may not apply to how I'm hitting buttons, so... That's what's important. So I'm gonna do that initial frog, and then if I need to find some help, if I'm like a way off the mark, then uh, we'll go look at videos, if not, then um... Yeah. Give me a second, guys, I'm just gonna go BRB for a second. I'm gonna play. Just... I got something, like... There you go. Yep. I had a... I like a shell in my teeth. Yo, Kiyaki, hello, dude. You're saying Tomahawk with 150 is not what will make solos? No, no. See, Warrior Warrior in Heaven on High has inner release. That is what makes you win in, in, in Heaven on High. Palace of Dead, you don't have inner release. So what do you have? You have Tomahawk. Berser yeah, Berserk's whatever. You can do whatever. You can do Tomahawk, dude. So it's a different thing in, a, in Palace. Oh, fortunate. Fortunate, uh... Inner Tomahawk. Yeah, dude. Berserk Tomahawk. On floor- on a HOH floor 71. First time I'm gonna try Warrior Exploding Trap Tech. Okay. Hey, Nerio, just make sure you have a raising up, okay? Highly recommend, because let me tell you. If for some reason I don't have a raising, for that set, if like we just walked in with zero raising, I would be very fearful to do a landmine play. Like I would, I would home gang, because at least I have ten seconds to make it work. But man, I wouldn't do it without. I wouldn't do it without home gang. You know, like I need my insurances to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's the best way, because if you die, you know what? It's like it's like you do it, and it's you're kind of accepting. Like okay, fine, I made a mistake. You know what? It's okay. You know, you probably will die. Just because something you forgot something, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Just go back in there and do it again, you know? Hey, Night Vision, thanks for starting a hype train right at the start. Just do your I maps! Will bring feel for you in palace. The toolkit feels so strong. 20% shield. Heavy. Buying. Vulnum stealth. Pogé. Pogé. Is that how you say poggers in French? Pogé. Um, Ninja has always been good. The kid has been good, especially in Shadowbringers. I think the, maybe the buffs have helped a little bit, so that might showcase itself, uh... With the, with the patch this morning. Ninja was always good, and, and honestly, the, the main one- the one main reason I was holding back on Ninja this- this expansion was because I felt it was destined to get some updates. So, it got the updates, and now, you know, I could probably go back to Ninja, but we'll see. I, I have a lot of other jobs I'm gonna get through. But, uh, Ninja's been one of the- Ninja, uh, prior to the existence of Reaper, was my top melee. Like, hands down. It was, like, Ninja way up top, and then it was, like, you know, Monk and Samurai, depending on how you felt about those jobs, and then Dragoon for the bottom for me personally. Me personally. Subjective, me personally, that's how I said about it. Right now, I would never change- I would still put Ninja up there, but I personally would now put Reaper above, uh, above, uh, Ninja right now. And even even knowing the kit of current ninja, I still think I would I would personally put Reaper above Ninja for my own personal, you know, list of things. But it is still really good. Yeah, oh no, it's it's fantastic. Your enemy to enemy is probably the best uh probably the best uh available. Because of hide. I die with one other person, I had no idea how you saw that. <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit of kiting, Kiakis, especially if you're on Warrior. You gotta do a little bit of kiting. You have to kind of know when you smell death, 
and and make sure that you buy yourself enough time for that for blood weddling to come back. Um, uh, so that's really what it what it comes down to. Intuition. Oh, another chest. Fox only breaks yourself. Well, it's because because hide is not perfect. Hide will just only protect you against sight and sound. That's all. That's just that's just how the mechanics work. Ooh, I heard it. I kill. Oh, whip. Oh. Hey, bookshelves. I noticed my wrist on the outside part fatiguing pretty fast. Have you ever considered? Ergo keyboard before yourself. No. Um, I use, uh, I use, like, the wrist, see this wrist, this wrist guard? This is, like, the razor one. I use this one, and it's usually very useful. I also mix up sometimes, sorry, I'm talking on the mic. I use it, I use these, like, kind of, um, gloves that have, like, little, like, support padding on the, on the wrists. So I kind of mix between the two. Um, I'm also, I also like to flex my, my wrists a lot of times just to keep it, like, fluid and stuff. Um, I've been doing this for years. Now, the wrist pad and my setup is a little bit more newer, but I've been playing like this for years, and I've been kind of okay with the way it's set up. But one thing to definitely bear in mind, Bookshelves, is I think every individual, when it comes to potential carpal tunnel and wrist issues, it is 10,000% uh, individual and personal, right? Like, maybe my wrists are just built stronger, maybe because of the way I grew up and the potential sports that I did or something, maybe my wrists have just become stronger, whereas someone else, maybe it's not the same thing. So this is all I can tell you it works for me, and, you know, cross my fingers and knock on wood, I have not had any massive wrist problems, I do worry about it, so... Um, but let me- but I- I did get those gloves that I just showcased because I was worried, uh, of potential problems that could arise. So those gloves are more, a preventative, as opposed to a healing or support kind of thing, if that makes sense. Like, I don't have those gloves because I have carpal, I have those gloves because I want to make sure that I don't make it happen, if that makes sense. Um, and they do work, they're kinda nice, but the problem with those gloves sometimes is it creates like some, it creates some type of friction with my sliding desk that I have a sliding desk on, on my table. So I slide out the desk so I'm pretty far from my monitor. And it's not the greatest sliding desk, so sometimes it, it's prone to actually sliding back if I just like give a little bit of a push forward. And for some reason, those blows actually make my desk push forward so much, I don't understand it. So I don't use it as often, but I, I do like the Razor, um, the Razor wrist guard, uh, wrist, wrist. Uh, bar that, that I have. That, this is a newer one. I just bought this like maybe a month ago. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very nice. It's very comfy. So I don't have gloves on. I just have like my hoodie and my, my stuff, but it's really nice. Preventative is always preferred over... Yeah, it is. I mean, I was like, like I don't know if you've ever looked it up. Um, and I'm done. I'll get back to you in a sec. Um, I don't know if you looked it up, bookshelves, but I was like, man, what if you use like wrist protection? You know, like a wrist guard, like they do. Like if you, if you like, you know, if you actually injure your wrist, if you do that, and they're like, no. The reason why you don't use that is because it might cut, it might kind of restrict circulation. Like it's meant to prevent further injury when you're already injured, and so that's why like something like the support beads that on the wrist are superior because you know you're not you're not preventing an already present injury. You're preventing it from actually getting injured. Uh, which made sense to me, right? You want something that's just a little bit more on that on that mind frame of uh, just supporting, making the wrist just feel comfortable, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable, kind of thing. Um, okay, I've only ever done Palace Dragoon. I have Reaper. Do I need to raise arm and armor for that class? Or nope. Uh, okay, Night Vision got you. Fantastic. I got that back when I was grinding Palace Time War and only decided to try for Necrop. Yeah. Yeah, they carry over. The arm and armor will spread over. Man, if you if the arm and armor was per job, holy goodness, that would be scary. There's gonna be I don't know if like you're gonna have as many people wanting to try for this title. So it's like, hey man, let's do machinist, and everyone's like, but I leveled red mage, or I leveled you know sage. Well, too bad. Level it up on a uh, machinist, dude. <laughs> that would be so tragic. 
Just mocking the war bugs? What are you talking about, dude? I'm not mocking it, I'm respecting it. I don't know what you're talking about. Just do it. Yes, sir. Then. You would have never bothered, dude. It's such a grind. Like, I would have to, like, release guys and how, like, to love. Like, we would seriously have to have a guide about how to level your arm and armor, like, you know, lickety split. 15 minutes in and out, you know? Do that meme. 99 arm and armor in 15 minutes flat. Watch this video to find out. And then the video is like 30 minutes long. <laughs> not clickbait. Haven't done- I haven't- I'm still not committed to the clickbait video, dude. What are you talking about? I just can't commit to it. I just feel bad. I just can't tell a, you know, like a white lie or something. <laughs> Uh, hey Catman, uh, just saw the YouTube short, we got one shot for the shop team. Yeah. It was great, wasn't it? Oop. <laughs> hey, shop teams have killed me quite a bit, it's pretty embarrassing. It's a little, it's a little embarrassing how many times shop teams have killed me, but uh, you know what, it is what it is. Todd, how you doing, man? How's the raid going? How's life going? Uh... Ryello, Ryello, thanks for the follow up, man. Oops. The next one, I th the next video coming up tomorrow is when, um. What was it? Oh, the next one that's gonna be tomorrow, if you guys were watching the summoner run, is when I got obliterated by a gorilla in, in like 1G City. So, like, we pulled a gorilla, I had a shield up. And it crits me for 10k and then autos me, fun, and like autos me through the shield and then kills me instantly. That's gonna show up tomorrow. That's a great video. Imagine life going. I'm mean, going right now. Wade's doing all right. Wasn't able to PF money or so. Ah, oh, too much work. Too tired. Ah, oh. sorry, bruh. I guess at least you're making the money, which is always nice. Hey, what's up, dude? Se oh man. Siri Niche? Is that how you say your name? That is not English. <laughs> That's another language. Siri Niche is fine. No, it's not dumb at all. I, I, I respect all names, honestly. Like, I think my name is stupid. Um. Like, I'm just, I would, I I almost find it as like a learning lesson. It's like, you know, you obviously put a lot, you potentially put a lot of time into your name or not. Maybe you just mash your head on the keyboard, but it's still a story to tell, so. Alright, Niche, alright dude, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I did it with my FC for 50 minutes! Before I like, <laughs> Savage Prog. I think I would enjoy Savage Prog with like, maybe friends or something. But then it still puts me in a schedule, and then, you know, that's not gonna happen. Your cat stepped, stepped on the keyboard while made sound. Almost constructed an entire word. Well done, cat. Oh, your cat's pretty cool. Do I strike? Nah, I'm a warrior, dude. You got more patience for me, I can't do PF for raids. Yeah. Russian meets German. That's kind of what I was thinking, like Germanish. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess Russian is too. Cause maybe not want to do it. I'm gonna stick with Tome gear. I'll do the same job. Yeah, I mean, my tomes are like nearly capped. I don't know where I'm putting them. Like, I've been spending so much time on Warrior, but like, I feel like I should gear my Black Mage. <laughs> but I'm not doing, I'm not doing like PVE like anywhere, so I don't know. I'll gear something. I'll spend it somewhere. Maybe I'll like get close to cap and then... And then I'll worry about it later, you know? Turban, okay, which is... Lower appropriate female, okay. Uh... Bro, I... You, you can give me like 20 years, I'm never gonna figure that out. Yo, sirs, thanks for 4 months, I appreciate it. Oh, Oni, she art, I know, the tomahawk gloves are just massive, dude. Like, my- when I read that last night, dude, I like fell off my chair. I was like, oh my god, warrior got buffed. <laughs> I was looking for like, you know, 
draw intuition, potency, loot deuce, doesn't work on multiple enemies. Can't Q solo on warrior anymore, you could Q solo on every other job except warrior. No, dude, you just get tomahawk increased by 50 potency. It's like, oh, cool, cool. Game changer. Mr. Bro, I see you. Give me a sec. Let me walk into this floor. Uh, you're in a bit of a quandary. I'm considering transferring to Materia because of all the English speakers, but ping is worse. 110? I have a 92 Aether. And I'm, I live in NA. So, I think I have a 110 to EU. <laughs> I can play EU just fine. Uh, I, I, that gives you perspective. But one thing maybe to think about, Mr. Bro, you gotta play it. Maybe make a maybe make a trial character or something, and just play it. You know why? Because I think ping is not entirely an indication of how you're gonna feel. I think someone's 110 might be different to someone else's 110. You know? Um, so it's gotta be based on how you feel. I, I'm someone who's very sensitive to ping issues and lag issues. Like if my connection starts going and it starts affecting my game, I will I will feel it instantly, right? Like the sound effects activate slower, the GCD like hiccups, enemies move weird and slow. I will feel it instantly, especially playing this game for so long. So maybe like you hop into the server, you start hitting some GCDs and you'll feel something. And maybe you don't feel something and then it's like, okay, well everything's okay now. I'm just, I'm, I'll just, that's how everything's fine. Um, yeah. So I would, I would try that first. I'm so patient waiting for the Black Mage run. I was thinking about Black Mage, but I'll see soon. You can't believe I woke back up for it? <laughs> you woke back up for the patch notes? I was awake, I was watching some anime, uh, just trying to get sleepy, and I was kind of like refreshing the page to like make it come in, and then it came in, and I'm like, oh cool, okay cool, I can go like, you know, finish my anime and you can go to sleep. Um, do you think no healing pots fall some pallets? Um, I mean it was in Red Mage. And I think it still should be in Red Mage. Uh, if you're talking about Warrior, I can't tell you until I play the job. I, I just don't know. Um, you know, I, I have to play the job to ha have an understanding of it. I couldn't tell you. Why are you getting witching? Um, Loken, good to see you. Have I cleared a Warrior before even even in Shadowbringers? Me? In a Palace? No. I took one run in a Palace for Warrior and then I like, promptly gave up. <laughs> I think, I think something, I feel like it was something like, it was like I was working on Dark Knight and then Dark Knight pissed me off and I'm like, you know what, I kind of want to stay on tank so let's go warrior. And I did one warrior and then I'm like, F it dude, I'm just gonna try some other job. Something, something like that. But now like, you know, warrior's in a little bit of a better shape. I have a kind of a game plan for Thursday, but I'll just wait till Thursday and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go blind on 180. I know there's a couple VODs out there. I just pinned one in Discord recently. Um, but I'm gonna go blind first. I'm gonna see how I do, and then if I really need to go to Ravada, I'll look at it. But if not, then I'll stay with my strap. Because I have a pretty good idea. Like, whenever you start adding in resolution, it gets really weird to me, because I don't know how to properly use it. I don't know if, like, jobs are needing it. I'm gonna try to go no resolution and, and my first go around, see how bad it goes, and then we'll figure it out later. So. Um. Your ping to Japan is 80-ish. Eh, 80, 110 doesn't seem too different. Black Mage gonna be- Black Mage is a pain. Especially 60 Black Mage is a big pain. I'll destroy 180, I appreciate the confidence, but... You gotta tell that to my fingers, dude. What's up, Aura? You gotta tell- you gotta tell my fingers... That. <laughs> Cause my fingers are the ones hitting the button. What floor are we on? Okay, that's a miss, that's a miss, I can't. Ah! Hold on, I'm just checking something real fast. Alright, dudes, while I have a second here, let's get some shoutouts out of the way, shall we? Uh, Mr. Night Vision is a streamer, he streams some Deep Dungeon. I caught his stream a couple bits ago. He's a good man. He's got a good stream over there. He streams, uh, what? EU times? So you're up there. Oh, uh, we got Todd. He's in stream. He's in He's in chat. He does a lot of rating. He's also a really good man. You should check him out too. Mr. Loken's in stream as well. 
He created the damn overlay, dude. Supposedly he raids, but actually he does like variety. No, I'm kidding. He does he does stuff. <laughs> How is stream by the way? Oh your stream is good. Uh and we got Aurora. Bruh. You guys gotta check Aurora. Aurora is like honestly, Aurora is becoming the the healer, uh the healer senpai for Deep Dungeon right now. So you best check her check them out. Um Check Aurora out please. Cause they they know their stuff for healer and uh really ridiculous. <laughs> so check them all out guys. A lot of a lot of good friendos, but a lot of deep dungeon runners as well. Yeah dude. I'm not gonna lie, I, I keep I sometimes keep forgetting like you really stream, you're getting into more streaming now. Um sometimes I do forget. You have to apologize. I have to apologize for that. I might remember everyone. But your VODs are, are, are coming in really handy for a lot of people so Yeah, no posture runs on Sage, dude. Healer Master, man. Single so Time War and Palace of Dead. The Ross seems like it would be even more doable. It it is helping. I just don't know how the overall run goes, Gara, but it is helping. It, it is like, it basically, the easiest way I can put it is that it does buy you a whole meteor. Um, at least, so. It is, it is really. What did I miss? Is that an affluence? Is that an affluence also? God damn it. But yeah, also, like, I was really thinking it over the past couple days, like, um,. You know, which job do I want you to do today? It was between really a healer and warrior. And I know a lot of people were, at, were talking about warrior palace, so that's why I leaned into warrior. Um, hey Owls, how are you doing? To run Astro? I mean, look, Astro is fun. I mean, it's, it's a tricky job. That's undeniable. But back in Shadowbringers, Astro is fun, man. And look, give me a job that I'm gonna have fun with. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna play it quite a bit, you know? Warrior is a good choice. Yeah, it was either warrior or scholar. I was thinking scholar, but but that's usually that is my uh, my method of healer, right? I would go white mage to scholar to astro. Of course, now sage is there, so I think I'll probably go sage white mage, scholar astro now. But um, yeah, I I I've been really been doing a lot of warrior. That's why I was semi leaning away from warrior because I've been on warrior like, man, I've been on the warrior for like a long time since since literally Friday. And I'm thinking of going back on Warrior Sunday again to do the time management thing. I'm debating on it because that apparently was really useful for people. So I uh, just got finished with 21 to 40 on Summoner, taking a break for dinner. Nice. How do you feel like how do you feel with Summoner else? Thinking of losing a lot of palms to be 100 for the first time. It went through two raising, three shanks. Oh. Um. Yeah. Like I mean, that fight is a lot harder now. You definitely have to have a pretty solid game plan to work with. Um, but it's okay, like I said, you're still frogging Om Nom Dots. Um, these are just bumps and bruises that you will you, you will have to learn. But every time you go in, everything will get easier. You'll know what to expect. You know, things will no longer be a mystery. And that's how you get better. It just is what it is experience. That's how you get better. Once again, I'll start going to different classes. Just need the damn title first. Hell yeah, dude. You'll get it. Got a lot of time, man. My thoughts on Ninja Increase both to say plan about it soon. Soon, I don't know what soon, Mr. Bro. But Ninja had gotten its update, and I was basically waiting for Ninja to get its update. Um And I will probably debate on getting back into it sometime. I gotta think about it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanna get back I, I kinda wanna go to Dragoon before I do Ninja. And the main reason I wanna do Dragoon is because it's changed. And I want to know what that change is like in here. You know, I, I gave I gave Dragoon a lot of shit in Shadowbangers with good purpose because I just didn't like that job. Um, but now it's different, and maybe I'll end up liking it. Like maybe my the script will flip, right? I love Monk and Shadowbangers. I hate Monk and Endwalker. Maybe I end up actually liking Dragoon. Who knows? Um, so you know, I, I, you might see Dragoon become before Ninja, but I don't know for now. But right now, I'm in the mode for chasing for first-time clears for myself. I haven't cleared on Warrior, 
We didn't clear on Bard before, now that's done. So I might be in the mood for that. Um, maybe see it on a Heaven on High run on Friday. You know, maybe I hop into Dragoon Friday, I don't know. We'll see what I feel like doing. I can't figure out if it summons or health based or in rotation. It is health based on numb. It is at uh, 89%, 67%, and 39%. I think it's 69%, but yeah, it is health based. You push it to a health threshold, it spawns out. You hated Dragon as much as you did, so it's much better. I hated the I hated the one thing they changed. Ura is what they is what they is is what I hated. Is the is the blood of the dragon, the gauge. I hated the gauge, and it's not there anymore. So that's why I'm curious. Did I ever get dance to clear? I did do heaven on high, but I didn't do it in palace. I did palace I think one time, and then I swapped off. Uh, drag sixty kit dragon felt empty. See, that wasn't the problem with me. I did not mind the overall kit. I just didn't like the fact that dragon was slow. And I had to maintain the gauge, and I had to maintain combat to keep the gauge really rolling. I think, honestly, with the 60 kit, it wasn't half bad. Because, you know, you didn't have to worry about the other things in the gauge. Like, you didn't have to worry about maintaining your DPS to get into a stronger version of the gauge to do even more damage, right? It's just get the gauge up, you had your cone ult, that's it, period. So I actually like the 60 kit of Dragoon slightly better than the 70, it's like, less irritating to me. Uh, that makes fight so much easier. Yep. Yeah, and, and again, Omnom, those are just little details that you will learn over time, or, you know, you can ask the question, I hopefully will know the answer. But like that, like that little bit of detail can be a huge help. Um, you know, just those understandings of things and making things not a mystery, right? When you approach something that you don't know the result of, or you don't know how it's going to happen, that's when it's tough, because you have to think on your feet. But when you know what's going to happen in front of you, maybe a couple steps ahead, it really helps. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power in here. Definitely a big quote for this place. Knowledge is power. And certainly in my, in my current situation, we are beating Deep Dungeon because of knowledge. Like skill, I, I would like to think I'm kind of skillful at gaming, but honestly it's the knowledge that is, that is beating this place for me. Um, we just know so much of this and nothing is really surprising me right now. Even like the landmine I just stepped on, I just like shrug it off because it's whatever. Because I know the thing I'm fighting won't kill me. You know, it, it's like things like that is part of it. You don't you don't get yourself spooked. Remember? Okay, remember? Wait, my memory just lost me. Who are you? Okay. Remember you said ninjas in the top three fun. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much, Mr. Bro. The the main reason I, and I probably already answered the question, but the main reason I was staying away from Ninja was simply because I, I felt like, and it sounded like, it was in due for, for an update, or in due for adjustments. And if, like, a job is, like, destined for adjustments, like, really soon, I'm not gonna touch it. Because then I have to do it again, like, you know, what if, like, something significant in Palace changes after I just cleared in Palace? It's like... I have to go back in and do it again, you know, it's just like double work. I mean, it's fine for content, but if I could just do something else in the meantime, then I'd rather do that. Cool, I mean, hello. Speaking of job changes, I gave Summoner a try, and I know it does way more damage, but I didn't enjoy it as much as- Really? Interesting, okay. You didn't enjoy it as much as Shadowbangers, that's interesting. Okay. It, you know, for, for me, Koemi, it fits my playstyle. I, I, honestly, I identify the glass cannon. Like, a lot of times I will gravitate to a job in a game that is glass cannon. Um, like, give me, give me the job that will have this massive laser cannon, you know? That will, like, obliterate an enemy, but I have, like, you know, the defense of, like, you know, paper. But at least I can blow you up in, like, two shots. That is my class. 100%. Any tips when to spam Aether, Aether Pull? I just started Pure TD 4 days ago, only managed to... Thanks to... Any tips of, to where to spend? Well, you wouldn't be spending your Aether Pull unless you wanted uh, the Glamour. Because other than that, you'd be keeping it at half the whole time. So if you did want the Glamour, then that's where it goes, but that's really the only, only reason you'd be using your Aether Pull. That makes sense? I beat Behemoth for the first time today! What job we do it on? What job, what job, what job? Are you Machinist? Because that's tremendous if it's Machinist. 
not to say the other jobs are less, but to me, New Summoner just feels like extreme bop it. <laughs> that's a good, you know what? That's a good analogy, dude. That's a really good analogy. Twisted bullet. Summoner! Mm, how did it feel on Summoner? How was the birth? Like, was it comfy towards the bit? Did you like, did you have some GCDs to spare? You know, when I did it, I made a big, I made like a couple of critical mistakes on my run. We still, we still won. You have a day with Behemoth tomorrow? Damn. Where'd you, where are you going, dude? I'm going to a Michelin star restaurant? Miss Chayla, good morning to you, ma'am. How are you doing? Ira, hello. POTD War, we are POTD War. Glam looks nice, only plan to get to 50. So, like, one thing that I would recommend. Um, also, by the way, we gave a lot of shout outs earlier. We'll give a shout out to Miss Chayla. She is streaming. And she does really good stuff on her stream. Lot Deep Dungeon, check her out. I hear the. I hear also she might do some variety. Thinking about it, like I'm thinking about it, so. Damn. Look, dude, I'm literally playing a game, Logan. Step up your game, dude. I'm hopping around hitting GCDs and I still do a shout out. What the fuck? Of course I did. It's like some, some of you guys are surprised I lurk in stream. <laughs> Hyper Machinist Bump should make it a little easier. It's 4% easier. I died, but use Resi thingy and pretty much copy to run. Nice. Alright. <clears throat> so, so niche. Um, one thing I would recommend to potentially do with your arm and armor. First of all, try to get a cap. If, you're, if your goal is to go for the solo clear, you want it capped, right? But one thing that is not a bad idea. If you start a fresh run, exchange like one or two grips. Like push it down from 99 to 79, 99 to 89. You do a whole run, you do an attempt, if you're checking silver chest, you'll probably get it back to 99.99, and then you're kind of good to go for the run, but then you have a grip to, to work with. And if you do it a couple of times, you'll eventually get enough grips for the glamour, you need 9 of them. Um, you need you need 9 of them, so it could be a way to do it. Um, but then if your goal is really just the glamour, then try to get to 50 first. Get to the 51 to 60 spam, you know, level it that way. Because that's gonna be really fast to level it, and uh, there you go. Wow, good job, uh, AG, for uh, for holding your composure. Because let me tell you, every time I have to do a second attempt on Behemoth, my heart is just crazy, dude. Like I have so much emotion. I'm like, I can't fuck this up. I can't fuck this up, you know. After just fucking it up. Um, so good thing holding your composure and uh, made it through. Second time's the charm. I have so much. I'm so bad at reading chat and doing speedruns. Are, are you implying that I do speedruns and read chat? That's why I don't do speedruns, dude. <laughs> That's why I don't do scoring runs because I can't do that very well. Something gets sacrificed. So I have respect for you for trying it, dude. You still do it. There's a reason I prefer the casual climb, you know? Smack some GCDs, look at chat, avoid some AoEs while not looking at chat, easy game. Flick it. Pull it. Pull it is Phoenix? Alright. You don't pull Titan? What happened to- wait, what happened to- oh. Wait. Oh, uh, Flick it is- oh, Flick it is- is- is Titan. Spin it is Phoenix. Okay, spin it is Phoenix. My bad. I was reading it the other way around. Pull it. At <laughs> yeah, you got to provoke, dude. Even on later floors. It's um, honestly, it's like I think that's again like knowledge, Shayla. I was talking about knowledge earlier before you hopped in. I think it's knowledge and. When you know what enemies are doing, there are definitely situations where it's like, okay, I can look at chat. Like, this one doesn't do anything, I can just look at chat. Um, you kind of find ways to weave it all in, and I think that's where I get to. And then you have certain enemies where you can't take your eyes off of it, like a Chimera. Forget it, dude, I'm not gonna take my eyes off the Chimera. The Jellyfish, the Chob Tea, you don't take your eyes off those. But like, you know, for the most part, everything else is pretty just... I guess in my eyes, simplistic, that uh, I can pay- I can not pay attention. Do, 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 do. 
Finally feel motivated to do Deep Dungeon after finishing EW. My internet's so bad. Again? Ugh. Have we, have we talked about you trying to do a VPN or something? Have you tried a VPN? Well, by the way, today we are playing the Master Playlist. I'm still testing out my music. So we're gonna be- we're gonna have the full playlist today. So you're gonna hear everything, maybe. It'll be great. Pin, hello, good morning. By the way, I'm thinking about doing, uh, I, 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 sometimes I talk about videos and then, uh, I kind of don't do them. Like, I talked about, oh, you know, I'll do this Gunbreaker video, we'll talk about Gunbreaker. And I lost interest, so, you know, that happened. But I'm thinking about doing uh, a video discussing Summoner. Because I think a lot of guys, I guess, except Koemi, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, Summoner seems to be a little bit of a fan favorite, so, um... I want to do a video on talking about Summoner and Deep Dungeon. So that might happen, or it might not happen, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I'm making this- I am making a script for it. Yeah, we'll, t we'll talk about all of it, because it's a big difference. Like, I think Gunbreaker, honestly, like, with Gunbreaker, maybe why I lost interest was because... No joke, the video was just like, Hey guys! So Gunbreaker and Deep Dungeon is the same, okay, thanks. Catch my other videos. Like, it, like, I would just say like one sentence, like, what the hell am I supposed to talk about in Gunbreaker? At least with Summoner, it's like, there's complexity with Summoner, like, you know. We can talk about its different playstyle, its mobility... Something about doing that. Uh, that might come out. I haven't started it yet, but you know. It might happen. <laughs> it might happen one of these days. Um, but I think it might be an interesting video, because I have some ideas for it, and I put it- I set it in motion. And that also might give me motivation to do it, so Summoner might come out. Or level. Yeah, Crisis Core, dude. One of the few Crisis Core musics that does not anger Twitch or YouTube. I think I mentioned this, I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably- Look, I'm probably gonna repeat so many things in my- in, in streaming. But there was a song, I forgot the name of the song. But there was a Crisis Core song that muted my VOD on Twitch. And like, no other song muted Twitch. Like, I get issues on YouTube sometimes. But, bruh, it muted Twitch. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That's odd. What did you Twitch for? So, you know, I had to remove that song. And then the Octopath music has been tough, because a lot of the Octopath music has been triggering YouTube. And man, that those music, those songs are so good. That pisses me off, but it is what it is. I, I like... There's four Octopath songs that I've taken out, and they're all good ones. I only have two left. This this one, the one we're playing right now, Logan. This is a uh, FF1. The song in Crisis Core with lyrics is definitely enforced DMCA. Which one? Which one, Biftek? What has lyrics in Crisis Core? What is Larry's and Crisis Core? It's been a while, I haven't played that game in a while. It's called Why? Oh, is it like the- is it like a credit song or something? Maybe it's a credit song. Isn't that an InSync song? Oh, that's a Backstreet Boys song, sorry. Wrong boy band. Okay. Thought I accidentally- oh. But isn't- wait, oh that's one thing I need to put in. Oh, you reminded me, Loken. I should put in the Pixel Remaster. I, actually, I think Zamoka gave me those. I think Zamoka actually gave me the Pixel Remaster. I need to look back at my DMs. He actually sent me the Pixel Remaster. I yellowed, pulled, and hit a luring on purpose, and was like, uh, wishing to stay in Oop. When <laughs> Summoner, he just casts Bahama and he's blowing shit up. Hey, does anyone remember? Are there any OG warriors out there? Like Heaven's Ward warriors? Back in the day, Inner Beast was an ability that you use for mitigation. 
he would use Inner Beast to mitigate. Because it had this like massive mitigation when you use Inner Beast. And I always remember that from Inner Beast whenever I see that ability. It's like you had to time it for a tank buster. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And it heal- yeah! It was so interesting. Only reason you live is Bahamut. Bahamut actually being useful for once in his life. You miss Cleric Sands? I miss Cleric Sands. Yay, Iroh, thanks for four months, ma'am. No, thank you, dude. Thank you. Thanks for all the content. <laughs> Nessing Chaos mitigates damage too? It does. But that's like, you know, current warrior, dude. It's not an old school warrior. Witch Cleric Sands? What do you Witch Cleric Sands? Doesn't it also shot these three warriors in Bahamut? Oh, that I don't know. I never read it, so that's not things I would be privy to. Yeah, the first EW Exchange Pack for the first time. Most intense game of the Follow the Leader ever. Oh, yeah. Because you have to make sure that... Yeah, true. You hope that there's one smart person if you don't know where to stand for, uh, for that fight. Because you gotta pick the right location. Oh, you're not dead. No, you're dead. Kind of miss old machinists? I could not play old machinists for the life of me. Oh my god, dude. I couldn't play old machinists for the life of me. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Is that 23? No, that's one more. Okay. What levels are on tuition? Oh, it's 56. Oh, shit. Anyways, it's that far away. Oh, please. I hated that. I hated casting Bard. Oh my god. What a terrible thought. I keep popping that thing. I, not, I didn't even look at what it was. That's the exit over there. <laughs> Damn. Something just spawned. Where's Shank on? I have heals on. Where's my other combo? Oh, 40. I'm a tank. Oh, look at that, look at that thrill of the battle heal. Epic heal from Thrill of the Battle. Where's Decimation? Oh, Decimation 60, right, right, right. Yeah, can. First, I shot a Lily Follow guy who knows that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. The winning strategy. Uh, 
Ah uh, yes, Lost Remnant. Man, if they remake this game, I'm playing it. Come here, turtle. Uh, I gotta go back for the witch hand. Light, ooh, uh... Mm, probably chill on the flight. Couple things need to die so I get my level. <clears throat> I'm actually more than a couple things have to die. Come on, almost there. There we go. What's this? Oh, that was a play. <laughs> oh god. Is that a... That is a flossing emote, nice. Heal to full the zones I, I don't have until 56! Oh, you mean the leveling, yeah. I'll kill it, that's, you know what? That's, that would be good clickbait. We should do that as a, we should do that as a YouTube short. We'll do that as a YouTube short. I don't know how to, dude, I don't know how to title those videos, man. It seems so weird. Like, I don't know if I should put more, like, tags on them, or if I just, uh, just put a good title. Do I level up the heals? I mean, it's a, it's a shot. All caps is where you start. That's, you know, that's not wrong. Or exaggeration. Oh yeah, I know, that's like clickbait. Doing the poggers? Oh yeah, also true. Well, but, but that's like, yeah, I'm still trying to understand shorts and stuff. Because I don't know what people are looking for when it comes to shorts. Not the bit, not the content, the content's whatever. It's more like... Are you even looking at the title at that point? Like, do you just look at the video itself, you know what I mean? I'm still trying to understand that. That part of the song sounds like something... That part of the song sounds like something familiar. I can't remember what, what game or anime. Man, why'd you have to give me... A glue floor? Actually, I'll do floor here. Why didn't the other one AoE? It takes so long to get the AoE. This my level home gang. I heard that's useful. Oh, exit this way. I gotta go the other way. If you, like, mobility, if you go slow, or if the guy is slow, I guess.
potion. Don't look up much on my damage. Oh, what the hell? I didn't realize you were still full, little person. And I'm going two floors without a landmine and then dying twice to a bird and forgot to- Oh no, Nerio, I'm sorry. Speedrun max clear store? No, dude. <laughs> no. No! I'm sorry, Nerio. Damn. No landmines to the first two floors, that's so rare. Holy crap. Uh, here? What the, what the hell's a chest up there? God damn it. Kinda messed me up a little bit, but back on it. Maybe next time I'll just burn a concealed to go. Yeah, you know, that's not a bad idea too. I've done that before, especially if you're sitting at 3, Nerio. You kinda wanna, like, well now, you know what? Now it's interesting, because you have now the experience of what happens when you don't see one. And I can tell you, like, oh yeah, you can try this, try that, but now you have the first-hand experience, so next time you go in, you'll know what to do. You'll already have this kind of <laughs> experience of like, man, what happens if this happens again? And you'll make your adjustments. I hope so. Hey Shaded Life, how are you? So with Highland Zodiac arc now finished, where do you think the story is gonna go? <coughs> um, I have no idea. Uh, sorry I'd be more bad. Hey, thank you, I appreciate it. Gonna do 61 Heaven on High, uh, Warrior for the first time tomorrow. Alright, good luck. Do well. And get back to me. Do you hope Orb Light becomes caster? Do you think he'll ever become a black mage because uh because of uh Yoshi P? I think they'll go that far. I kinda panicked now I decided because I ended up having to something oh. I wouldn't say it's a panic match, so I just, that was your best option. That's a little much. Die already. Steel Psych- what's Steel Psych one again? Oh, Beast Gauge, okay. That is my- oh, that's my Decimation thing, okay. But except I don't think I'm getting Gauge from, uh... I can't see the exit. I don't think I'm getting Gauge from, uh... Big pull. I don't even have my- I don't even have my full heals right now. This one? I should be getting a uh, gauge from my thing. Should I be getting gauge from uh, Mythical Tempest? When does that happen? Oh, wait. Oh, that's 74? Oh, that's lame. Oh, god, god damn it. 74? Damn it. I'm spoiled by eight. I'm spoiled by ninety warrior, dude. I guess I'll have Infuriate though later. When is Infuriate? That should be fifty. Yeah. Okay. Taro Taro is the uh, warrior of life. Okay. 
Well, good thing I sighted so I can just step on the trap that I just sighted. My hope is that they have Warrior Light who is who will be female this one to ask. I don't think they're gonna change off the generic, Mr. Bro. Because the generic is a representation of everyone's Warrior Light, so I don't think they'll change that. I think it's just understood. Hey look, it's a landline. Hey look, it's a witch hand. Alright people, come here. Oh. Uh, I didn't mean to do that that early. But it worked. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it that early. I was gonna hold gang. Set it all up. Nah dude, I'll just, I'll just step right over it. Okay, well. Uh... Agnioto. So, decided to see me being warrior to battle stuff to clean myself. Agnioto, you are the one who had the video for the warrior. I do thank you for posting that, by the way. Um, I'm gonna do it blind. I didn't look at your video. And one of the reasons I didn't look at your video is specifically because like, I kind of want to do it myself first. A lot of times I'm stubborn like that. But I definitely will be looking yours if I fail the first time. So, Agni, by the way, did. Um, Warrior free trial Necromancer <laughs> and posted uh, their, their 180 video on, on, on Discord and I, I pinned it. So that's, um... Agni? Alright, Agni. You got it, dude. <laughs> Congratulations on your awesome victory. Hey, good thing I sighted. Everything's dead. Come here. See the silver chest? Nothing. The Aussie meme character names on- Yo! Uh, I'm gonna be interested tomorrow, guys. You know why I'm gonna be interested tomorrow? You're gonna start seeing the leaderboards populate for a deep dungeon. And let's see who is- who is- who is, uh... Actually, wait a minute. That's impossible, right? No, forget it. Uh, the day after tomorrow. Yeah, the day after tomorrow. Because I think you can't do tra you can't transfer your you can't transfer anything over, right? You can't transfer any characters until actually right now, like literally right now, you can do homeworld transfer. So I, we have to wait till tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, but you're. I guess that's true. But would you do it to get to get the world to get the server first on uh, to get the data center first for that? Like, would would you go that serious to make it happen? on day one, to boost all the way to like Heaven of High Palace. You still have to level your arm and armor. You can't do that in a day. You can't level arm and armor in a day. Switching again. Go 10 boss kill in 30, 30, 38 seconds. Damn. I did, but I didn't release the video. I mean, I said it could, but I don't have a video for it. Tomahawk coming in strong. It's coming in real strong. Look at all that damage from Tomahawk. It is breaking enemies' backs when you do the Tomahawk. You love yours in a day spamming. But here's the thing. This is this is kind of what I'm getting at, Nerio. So you can't transfer your character, right? Until, like, now. Like, I think right... This very second, you can actually now transfer your character to all servers, which I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, but, uh, what do you call it? I don't think it's viable for someone at the beginning of the opening of the server today to, even if boosted, to get a character and clear a deep dungeon. Certainly not Palace, maybe Heaven on High, but man, you have to level your arm and armor to make that happen. So you get 99.99, get enough potions! Unless you level warrior, I guess. And then, uh... Clear. So I think you'll probably see a clear maybe what? Thursday night? Friday night? Wednesday night? Maybe? Oh, I hit one enemy. Bro, I have no idea what these AoEs are. Oh, I have no steel. 
Well, that's why this hurts more than usual. Palace seems like it would take some time, yeah. Palace got it. I mean, Palace doing a Palace run 1 to 200 is like, you know, 15 hours to like 13 to 15 hours alone. But then you have to put on top of that leveling your arm and armor because you're fresh. Yeah, I guess you're not gonna see it clear today. Maybe Wednesday night, uh, Thursday morning. More than likely Friday morning. I would probably say by the weekend. If you have some veterans hopping over to, uh, to Oceanic. You'll probably get some clears, like like I'm not. I, I I've already said this for for a while. Like, I would never take away a world first. Uh, I'm sorry. I would never take away data center first or a server first from a location that is not my region. Like that's just not fair, right? Like I've cleared like so many times in a row now. It, it would just not. It would just not be fair to to that. You would want someone who actually lives there to claim it. That was how it was with EU for a time being. Like, EU did not have a clear for a while, and I was getting comfy with clears, but I'm like, no dude, I'm not gonna go over there and do it. Even though I have a character. I'll leave that to someone who's actually from EU. Pull it off. I'll come in after, you know, maybe I'll make a character later, but not, not at the beginning. Yeah, cause the, cause the, uh, cause the, the, the score, up, the score was created today. That webpage was essentially loaded today. So there was absolutely not a single human being who would even have uh, anything at all, because it just was physically impossible. You might see some scores show up tomorrow, but a clear seems impossible right now. Oh, whoops, I forgot. I forgot that one. Make an out Oceanic first and call it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can you can name it like my JP character. My JP character was Angel Free Trial Demonus. Demon. I don't have my heals yet. Everything's fine. Open with the bus. <laughs> Not Angelus or Demonus. I couldn't do Angelus free trial Demonus because it was too long. <coughs> These big balls are setting up my fight or flight. <laughs> Dude, I've been playing Warrior so much this like past week. It's like this is just like. A, a, just a casual day of warrior at this point. It's crazy. Dude. Yo, look at that. Look at the. Look at the. The sexy triple inner beast. I might actually get the speed on. They're more potent? Yeah, but are they cooler? They're not cooler. Stun! Finn, are you seriously gonna make a character for Oceanic? I almost feel like... I almost feel like... You're required. <laughs> oh, but then you're in JP, so I guess that doesn't matter. I mean, you might be Aussie, you might be Aussie but then you're not there, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my thinking, like, it's home, you know? 
But then I, I then and then I immediately remembered. Oh yeah, but you live in Japan. So theoretically, no, that's not really home. It makes more sense for you to be in JP Surfer. So here's a question for you guys. Because I think this was discussed a little bit. I was chilling in Moody streams. She was talking about this a little bit. Um, do you guys feel like... So so it was. it's definitely obvious that uh, people are going to go over to Oceanic and make characters. Would you say that it is more or less than what you thought of the amount of people potentially going over to Oceanic? Because like people are like, you know, I know there's people talking about it like, Oh yeah, you know, I'll do it. And other people are like, nah dude, I'm gonna stay in like Tonberry and Kujata, you know? But like, do you think like, now that it's here, that it will be like, way more people are gonna do it? Maybe like, because they see their buddies doing it, now they're gonna do it? Or do you think it's just gonna be not as many as you think? A lot of C not coming over, alright? That's what I tweet about, that someone found a gra grad idea on my god. Hey Dan J, how are you doing? Oh, I should be doing multi pulls. What am I doing? Come here. Come here. You too. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. Seven nice four. Do 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 I got Mandy's awesome. Awesome. My Tomahawk, look at- dude, it's doing 12% damage. Holy crap, dude. Broken ability. Nerf now, please. Look at that, dude. So much damage. Holy crap. Nerf now. Unreal. Broken ability. Look at me one-shot those enemies. Holy crap. Let's see what Chesky is. Uh, Trank. Ooh, Trank. It's a big mock. <laughs> they should give more of the hand tomahawk treatment. Oh. Like, enhance NP? <laughs> yeah. Because Warrior is too strong, we'll nerf something else. Give me that level. Give me that level, please. I had a witching here, god damn it. Shadowhawk. Yeah, inner release, Tomahawk, Tomahawk, Tomahawk. Primal Rend. That's the order in which you're supposed to do your GCDs. <laughs> Is that what happens in League? That's funny. But I mean, on the bright side, nothing did get nerfed. I mean, I, I did see the post of like... Dragoons being upset because now you can't make like, you know, fancy icons with your Dragoon Tether. Like, that was nerfed. Oh well. Oh, oh. 
Primal Ren is a guided missile. I want to do Primal Ren at a point in time when an enemy zips to the opposite side of the arena due to the animation delay, so I zip across the entire map when that happens. That'd be amazing. Bro, it's one I knew that was a steal in there. Oh. Guess I'm on a safety. I don't have raw intuition yet. Let's see. Another steal. Another steal. Uh, intuition. Lovely. I don't think I checked that chest. Okay, I need to target there we go. I got I got the target on the intuition. Don't mind me, I'm just running around. Get to this. Oh it's a flight mode. Oh. I have one more room to go, so we'll go. It's a lot of enemies, it's a few. It's not, it's not, it's not that bad. Can I open the chest please? Alright, what do we got? Where's everyone? I have failed leave. Okay, one more level than I have raw intuition. Awesome. I don't like to play tanks though, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Imagine if Warrior does Primal and suddenly a bunch of monks would would appear. Hi QJ. I'm tempted to level Paladin to 90. I did those Paladin buffs look pretty wild. Crazy. Like, you're doing double damage now. Oh, song. Oh! Best song ever. Oh, yeah. That would be great, sir. Then. Can you imagine that in PvP? If, if, if Warrior had Primal Rend in PvP? Oh my god. Now this will be a lot easier. <coughs> you love late storm skill and feature warrior if it's perfect. Or it's like a dot like a DOT on top of warrior just doing a spinny thing. When will I stop pulling old floor? You know what's funny? Um I think what I want to try to do on Warrior specifically is actually pull no less than 3 at almost all times. I think I want to benefit off the multi pull on Warrior, and we'll see how that works out. Like, we're even talking to higher floors at this point. So that's what I'm going to try to do on Warrior, to try to push the time 
uh, to push my time to go faster is to pull no less than 3. So right now this is just whatever, because these are, I'm just leveling, but... Channel cancel if you move warrior version of... Oh, that would be interesting. But the damage has to make up for it, I guess, if you stay in place. I don't have uh, raw intuition even though I just got it, and I have not actually picked up the serenity either, so I guess we'll just go a little slow in this war. Actually, I might skip enemies here, just kill enough, and then off we go. Oh, you mean Microsoft, right, Siridan? Not Blizzard, Microsoft. Okay, there's a silver, so let's go over this way. Take the ogre with me. <laughs> Might not care. Maybe. Three Chimera. As long as they don't do the very well-timed Ram's voice into Dragon Voice combination like they did on Sage, then I can make it. This is a mocha. Hey, shout out to our buddy Zamoka. What's up, dude? How is stream? What are you up to today? I saw you go live and then I didn't like read your title. Zamoka has been doing Deep Dungeon on Mondays. So yesterday. But he plays uh, 14 as well, he plays other stuff in 14, does community nights and crystal, does some variety on stream as well, does some voiceovers. A good gentleman. What's up Ben, I see you there, what's up? Hello, hello. Welcome in team. And the demon is here, we're just uh, doing some warrior low levels today, so it's gonna be pretty chill. Just climbing on these floors, pushing warrior up. Uh, I've decided on a warrior this week, so we'll see how it goes. I've been playing a lot of Warrior the past week, but uh, I figured I'd keep it going. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm not sure Zamoka gave you an entertaining stream today. Oh, I'm out. Bye! I feel like 150B is super healthy for Warrior on Tuition. Well, like, Tank wasn't really in danger of dying to begin with. It's more like, can you do the damage, right? But, yeah. Oh yes, I love straight lines. Yeah, you're not gonna be threatened by the death of dying, uh, the the risk of dying, the death of dying, sweet. Um, wing, wings of Raptor, hello. How are you doing? Trap skip shook me yesterday. Yo, you gotta work on that. You gotta, you gotta work on it, man. Do more experiments and get back to me. Risk of dying to death, yeah. Can't, can't have that happening. <laughs> ah yes, the learning cup. <laughs> Ooh, lust. Huh. Lust, you say? Dead. Oh. He's so loud, I had to kill them all. That was Palace Tree to me? Good so far. Yeah, I'm testing out the Tomahawk buff. It, it's been broken, dude. I don't I can't I can't even control myself right now with a Tomahawk buff. Ridiculous. Literally the reason why I decided to do Warrior is because I saw Tomahawk, yes. I saw Tomahawk last night, dude. I'm like, no, we're just doing Warrior. Forget it. Scholar? No, no, the witch didn't warrior. I'm losing steel. Strength again! 
Actually, I'm gonna come back for it because uh, it might carry me to the boss. QJ, haven't played any deep dungeon stuff in a bit. Definitely need a break after getting alone here, but hoping to get some friends to do HOH with you at some point. This reminded me that I have yet to clear Palace of Dead though, so maybe I get some friends to do that instead. Do them all, cute Jade. Do all of it. And then also remind your friends that there is this boss at 100 that is the scariest boss in the entire game. 200. Scariest boss in the entire game. They gotta prep for it, man. Oh, I have Equilibrium. Oh. Right. I have... I have... I'm basically invulnerable now. Oh my god. god I wish I get... I got gauged early with the AoE. That would be such a big difference. I didn't... I... I didn't realize I'm like getting gauged with AoE, so it kinda sucks. But we do have the two, two, two sacks of Infuriate, so that's gonna help a lot. Um... I didn't think I checked this chest. Harder to convince them to endure 200 floors. I know, it becomes like a mini static to do a palace dead. Like, you you almost already know it's gonna take like two days. Heaven on high, you, can, you could knock it out in an hour, in, in, a, in a day, an hour. In a day. You know, four hours, five hours, like that's a, you know, that's a, that's a raid night. That's like doing all of your reclears or something like that. Um, but yeah, Palace is tougher because it's like, hey man, we're gonna take two days to do this. Not a lot of people commit to that. Complete the intro to the storyline. Nice. That's, that's a pretty high level. Another strength, I'll use it again. If it's a moment, I was your stream, what were, you, what were you up to? Even if you said it, I, I'm not sure if you said it, but I hope your stream was good. And, and it's good to have you back. On the Twitch. On the twitch ever. Oh nice! Hey, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's as far. That's the highest you guys have gone. Just be two in rage so far. Pretty good. Can you not? It's so cool that you guys are getting some, some awesome frog. Good to hear it, everyone. What is this chest? I don't remember. I checked it and I don't remember. Strength. Intuition? Strength. Okay, I, I think this one is a strength. There's something here about it. Maybe a little massive pleasure and during the worst progress, so I'll love to get all the pieces of rotation. Well, I mean, you gotta do it for the you gotta do it for the title though, X codes, right? If you want the title, you have to start at one. So it's kind of this kind of like you kind of have no choice on the matter. Well, this is it now. We got on Thursday. Excellent. That is what I want to hear. Oh, I found the exit. I'm gonna focus target you so I know when you're gonna do your thing. Okay. Check 
check this room. It's over here. Cyclone Mastery. Wait, what's Cyclone Mastery? Oh, Decimation. Wait, okay. Opening it, no ability debuff, and you just turn into a level 30 for the core. I know. Ben! Hey, Ben! Thanks for the T1! Aw, thank you so much, Ben. Thank you for that sub. I really appreciate that. I was hoping to keep my pace on clearing one Savage per weekend, but PF made that impossible to get hard stuck in PS PS3. PPS. Uh, how are the guides now? Are the guides like more clear? I was listening. I was I was chilling in a uh, June in June Clancy stream, Mr. June Bob, and he was talking about how it seems like the I think I guess the strategies are starting to level out. Like people are now deciding what they want to do. You don't look at any guides. I mean, that's fair, but like, I guess like, I guess in terms of PF, like, they're all kind of going to be in a certain way now, right? Oops. I kind of assumed that would, uh, maybe hit a thing. I'm sure, like, you gravitate towards, like, a certain strategy, though. I have high expectations of Pia. No, I have I have ignorance to Pia. I'm only going by what uh, what I've heard, what I hear, and what I listen to. I have I have no idea how Pia functions. I'm only going by what I hear from other people talking. So, hey cleric, how you doing? Can I do the 180 boss? Oh, oh my god, the 180 boss. Can I do the 40 boss in one um? In one cycle? Probably not. If I don't push it past 50%, then I guess not. Yeah. Well, there is Blind Frog to some extent. I mean, there are gonna be PFs that are like, hey, watch the video. But... Some PFs won't do that. You just kind of learn whatever strategy that people are doing and then just like, repeat it, I guess. Oh, actually that's fine. fine. I think I have to do the ads. Yeah, I'm not gonna have that burst anymore. Not to mention I didn't even set up my nice store mine. I'll do the ads. We have to do, yeah. I love Blind Frog. Um, I personally love it. I mean, I was able. To, I mean, obviously, I, I've done Blind Frog in Deep Dungeon, but it was so great in uh, Deep in uh, Boja, the duels to do Blind Frog in the duels. I loved it. I was kind of denied it in Southern Front because of the way the system was for doing uh, for doing it, which felt bad. But when we did Zadnar, I was not denied my blind prog, and we blind prog all of Zadnar, and that was fantastic. Oh my god, I enjoyed every second of that. And not only did we do that, we cleared. Completely blind. And I think Ock Morning uses uh, my videos for their, gu their dual guides too, so that's kind of nice. Alright, 480 down. On we go. Uh, I might be too impatient for the dungeon. I keep dying to bomb chest, just loving my aim and patience. Patience is quite the is definitely something you do need. Uh, I mean, when it comes to chests, you just have to kind of make sure your HP is kind of up there, right? You don't want to be too too low in HP before you touch a chest. So. <laughs> Adorable sapling enters the building. It's a little warrior, it's up, Mariko.
Uh, Tactics music is good. Tactics music is good. Only silvers blow up. Yep. Only silver chests. No other chests can go boom. Do you think that Red Mage got better or worse and Walker release? Um, are we talking Deep Dungeon specific C9? Or are we talking like overall? Because I can't answer overall. I can answer Deep Dungeon. I can 100% answer Deep Dungeon. Yeah, this is Tactics. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of the first areas that- this is the one of the first songs you hear in the game. Like, maybe like the second battle song to hear in the game. Don't be at home again myself. Yeah, that's true. I should probably get into that habit. That's actually a really good hint, a uh, really good tip. I should home game myself. I know the reason why. Forgetting Necromancer. So, uh, to answer your question directly, it is slightly better. Uh, it's not significantly better. It's slightly better. Um, like, it's not- it hasn't gotten so much better that it propelled itself above Machinist. I don't think it could really get to that point. Um, but historically, kind of now to go into a little bit of history, Red Mage, every time they've touched Red Mage, ever since its, its introduction in Stormblood, uh, Red Mage has actually always just gotten better, 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 better every time. Which is kind of, you know, interesting. But yeah, it, it has just gotten incrementally better. And that hasn't changed with Endwalker. Like the acceleration is really nice. You get the, you get kind of a swift cast, a mini swift cast. The magnification change is tremendous because you don't have to worry about your gauge anymore. You just get 50, and uh, the slower gauge buildup and the lower costing for your melee can really set up for some nice bursts. Um, and then sleep, you have sleep, dude. And because of Dread Mage, you have it on the dual cast. So if you have, if you have to emergency sleep tight something, well, you have access to that. And that's pretty tremendous for, for just all the casters in general. Um, so, in, like, there basically is nothing that Red Mage got or anything or what happened to Red Mage that it got worse. It certainly got better. The sleep spell is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot where my interject was. <laughs> Can't stun these. Well. Steal. 7.0 Red Mage gets shafted. I mean, it's been a long time. I don't think it's gonna get screwed at this point. I once pulled, but Aroma spooked me. It was a Gormon. You could sleep a Gormon? I didn't know that. I didn't know you could sleep a Gormon. That's not why I was in page 3 I died on 469 Heaven on High and Summoner and somehow got lead with anyway. I feel like I can't override that score. <laughs> I mean, as long, until it gets, you know, hopefully it doesn't get kicked off the board, but yeah, dude, it's true. You saying sleep on everything? I had, I had to break into the habit of actually having sleep. Because I was so like used to not having sleep. I had to like remind myself, oh I have sleep. It's on my bar, I put it on my bar. I should use it when I need to. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna paralyze. I think I hear a manticore coming. Oh. See, I can, I can hear these Manticore. I can't hear them in Heaven on High. I don't know, like, maybe they're wearing socks in Heaven on High? Like, I don't understand why I can't hear the ones in Heaven on High. It's so, it's so odd to me. Is everyone here? Okay, cool. Not everyone's here. Whoops. I didn't target them. That's... I think it's a silver chest. It kind of looks like a silver chest. Nope, silver chest. Switching. Gotta keep the floors clean and have on a high. Dude, I swear, man. I, I just do not hear manticores in heaven on high. And I think a lot of people can agree with me. They just sneak up on you and boom, they're there. Here, I heard that manticore like a while, like in enough time to know that it was around the corner. It's so odd. When do we get uh, brand manticore socks? Oh my god. Did I just make a thing? I should have a merch store. I've been thinking about a merch store, but I can never think about what to actually put in there. Not to mention, I'm not very artistic, so I have to like always collaborate with 
artists and make sure that they're happy and stuff. Unless they release it to me, but I feel so bad when they do that. I can't use the thing. Zamoka, how could you? Somehow the bigger man's choice are quieter. Yeah, I, I don't know why that's the case. It just it just is. I just I I never hear him on my connection. So weird seeing more than one mob being pulled, not used to tank and deep dungeon. Well warrior is definitely a special case because of raw intuition. I'm leveraging that ability so much. Yeah, Saturday. Well, I guess if people unlock gold saucer by then. I should probably deal with you. Oh, that's the exit. Let's actually backtrack a second. Hasn't happened since Crystal Drops. Well, or Light, I guess, right? When Light dropped too. When Light was introduced. Was light after crystal? I think it was. The EU folk can uh, answer that though. It was either at the same time or maybe after? I don't know. Because we have, we do have a lot of light, uh, a lot of light people in the community. I don't know if any of them are awake right now. Wallen, good to see you, my buddy. Thanks. I hope you're having a wonderful reset day. God damn it. Oops. You dropped the touch. Night owls. Apples. It's uh, going as well as it could be. I know Warrior's gonna, gonna get a little bit annoying later, so we're just going through. You sort of find BA, just got the elemental armor. Elemental armor is pretty sexy, that's the one I have on right now. Pretty sexy. I don't want that one. Come here, Hellhound! Alright, let's go pull Das Boots. And we'll pull other DOS boots. And then we'll pull you. Smack you in the ass. How does that feel? Luck. I had to abandon my Reaper run to level another job trying to level Paladin and Warrior. And I can see why people want Paladin. Paladin doubled the damage. Goodness. You know what's funny is that I read all the patch notes yesterday, but like I looked over Paladin and I'm like, oh cool, Pal I like I just literally just skipped Paladin. Cause I just saw like spirits within. I'm like, oh cool. And then I didn't even know what the blades of whatever were because I, I don't have Paladin 90, so I just like sk skipped over it. And then again, I was watching June Clancy today, and he was talking about that that part of the buffs, and I didn't realize how big Paladin got buffed. Like, holy shit, that like their entire combo is like double damage. Like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> A lot of damage. There's more like 250 to like 420 on the first combo. I'm sure like Paladin mains are happy. But it doesn't really affect Deep Dungeon that much. I mean 90 Deep Dungeon, yeah, but it doesn't really affect Deep Dungeon that much. 
Jeez, hell, hell, hell. You took like 50. You like turned like 20 million times. Interesting. I saw Warrior was potentially the uh, lowest uh, DPS of the tanks in raids. Not that it really makes sense to me anyway, I just want this whatever. I just, you know, uh oh. I forgot about the one with combo. I'm just someone who's a spectator, right? I don't even deal with any of that stuff, but I just look at what people are talking about and then try to remember it so I actually sound knowledgeable. Yeah, I read, yeah, I know what you guys talk about, yeah. It's more than uh, the Blade of 90 didn't, didn't feel strong. Now it is, right? Now it does feel strong. That's my that's my understanding now, it's like it feels strong now. Or at least it's a lot better. I don't get too much. These big pulls are more exclusive thing. Can you do these pulls and other tank and other tanking jobs too? Oh no! Please ask as many as many questions you want. Um, you could. A lot of I think all the tanks can really pull this off. The thing is, like, you might end up using a couple sustaining potions a little bit more than you'd want to. Like in essence, DPS could do this a code. Um, but you'd probably be using you'd probably be using sustaining potions at that point. Um, I'm pulling just enough so I try not to use them and I can keep them at, at check. Sustaining potions will keep you up really well. Um, yeah, a lot of the jobs can do. I mean, healers are probably one job you'll see too if you watch healer run. You'll you can do the big pulls, but just right now, what I what I am trying to practice is the big pulls because I feel like I need to try to do warrior in like just two to th like three pulls or more constantly to get more damage out of warrior because I know warrior is going to get pretty bad on damage once we get to the much higher floors uh, this is just historical warrior it's just gonna get pretty bad because I don't have I don't have inner release you know inner release is a big portion of your damage and you just have berserk so it's kind of blah um, hey shinobi yo we waited shinobi uh, Sunday night aspiring at these dungeon runner Trying to get Necromancer on Machinas. Yo, what's up, Shinobi? How you doing, man? Thanks for the raid. Thanks for the thanks for giving back the raid over here. Guys, check out Shinobi, dude. He was he's he's gung ho. He is a student of the content, and uh, he is he is trying to go for Necromancer. So definitely check him out. Check out his journey. Cause you uh, it might be fun to watch. I mean, I, I think there is definitely a charm to watching someone trying to get that clear for the sun. Hey Shinobi, what's up man? How was your stream? Were you doing some deep dungeon today or just some re-clears? Uh, savage re-clears, which is usually what most people do. Me, I'm I'm doing my deep dungeon re-clear for the week, you know? <laughs> you finally beat- Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get to? What's the new PV? Is it not harder in late floors? Oh, it is harder in late floors, but we're gonna leverage the healing on Warrior Morocco. Mariko, we're gonna leverage the healing on uh, Warrior to make it happen. It's just I'm doing more damage as well, so... So I gotta, I gotta try to get as much damage out of Warrior as possible. I do lose Fail Cleave though, that's the only bad part. Is if I do do a lot of pulls, I'm not gonna have Fail Cleave, and uh, that might that might add up, but, you know... Can I get this please? Okay. They can bake, eat dinner and stuff now, gotcha. Still working... Okay, 141! Okay, things are gonna get nice and spicy starting then. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're good to hear. Thanks. I, I would- I love hearing people's prog and seeing how far everyone goes, so I do wish you the best of luck on your continued run. Yeah, gargoyles happen, that's what happens. Gargoyles. Oh. 
You know, I'm lazy, guys. I'm gonna slide. You wanna know when you're lazy is when you need to do a full- when you need to do a full reveal and you're like, F it, I'll just do a slide. Maybe what I can do is like, maybe I can do a... I can do a big pull on Warrior when I have Infuriate, and maybe I do a mini pull to get Infuriate back on cooldown with a fail phase. I'll think about it. Looks like the run of Warrior is going well. It is going well so far. Warrior is interesting. It's going to be very tough at 180 for Warrior. Uh, and also the damage is really going to drop off by the time we get to like 91. Um, but so far, oops, I just unlocked my map. Hold on. But so far, it's been going good. I'm just trying to like kind of limit test in this job, see what I can do and what I can pull off. This is certainly the new version of Warrior, so it's kind of nice. Right? Oh, it's kind of nice right now. Let's limit test again, shall we? But we just kind of poke around the floors. By the potency of Joe got buffed, even if <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. I believe if I mathed it correctly, it was like four percent better. So you're gonna do four percent better, which is nice. You know, I mean, four percent is better than no percent. Like, this feels like it's going speedy. Yeah. Well, we are going pretty fast because of the big pulls. That's for sure. Light. Gonna lurk, need the noms. Ooh, get the noms. Yo, have a good one. Thanks for the lurk, man. Thanks for being your crew over. I shall catch you around next time, my friend. Excuse me, Mr. Gravekeeper. Been teaching solo PUTD to a friend. We're running a duo for packs and learning. God, that, that dynamic of doing a duo and then like letting your buddy like go in solo and stuff. I think that's such a cool thing to do. Um, it's very it's very convenient, but man, if you're able to do it, it's awesome. It's a huge it's a huge help. Huge confidence boost. Like I think there are definitely people who potentially will stay away from this content because they don't feel like they're able to. They don't feel like, you know, they have the gamer skills to do it. My whole approach is trying to get literally everyone to step in here. So, it, uh, if all honesty, like, if you're taking in someone who might have, like, a little less confidence, and then it gives them that confidence to do it by themselves, all the power to you all, you know? I think that's great. It's always been the- oh yeah, we've had a couple people, Iro was talking about that too. Internet sucks man, I know it a lot. I have to suck with you my internet as well. Aw, thanks for that, Marie. I appreciate the free advertisement. We gotta increase our community. We must increase the numbers. Get over here! I should do a strength. Okay, let me for let me do this first, guys. Alright, hold on, chill, chill, chill. Let's do this then. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's go get the uh, witching that I use. I don't think I checked the chest. Rage. 
Agni did, did around like 200 duties, I just gave up. I did like around 200 duties and just gave up. I saw my drain detention because I got tired of farming my Gotcha, Mentor Roulette. I mean, that's like what, 10% of the way there, so you just have to do it, you know, nine more times like that. Too bad because I mostly run on Red Mage, so my advice is limited, but I have a lot of fun doing it. That's all that's important. If, if there's something I preach, you know, I, I don't like using the word preaching. Um, because I kind of like, I, I prefer it to be like your own feeling on it, your own preference on it. Um, I'd rather it come from you than it come from me, but honestly, the one thing I do preach is as long as you have fun, you know? If you're having fun, that's all that matters, whatever it might be. Just have fun. Would a POTD get confusing with 2D, would get confusing to be APS? I mean, it's a challenge, that's how you look at it, top footing, you know? And there are ways to manage your enmity in a duo. Um, you just have to be a little bit creative to, to make it work, but it's a challenge. Like, one way you can do it is maybe have whoever you want to designate as the tank to, um, hit the enemy a couple times first, and then you engage later. Uh, a lot of times, I did a duo with Selene one time, we went, um, actually we went healer, we went white mage monk. So obviously we don't have a tank, so I was ripping hate off of her a little bit. But how I was handling it was, like, I would try to take opportunities to rip hate on purpose. So that it could essentially mitigate damage from her. Um, and so you get you get like creative ways of pulling it off. If that makes sense. There's and there's no correct answer. It just has to work for whatever team you're going for, you know? Maybe you're on a job that is just a little bit more tanky, you have a little bit more tools to keep up. Maybe for instance, let's take two melee DPS. Maybe what you do is you take the first person, you bloodbath, and you do a lot more damage. The other person maybe chills for a second, holds damage a little bit, and then when uh, when your bloodbath is down, the next person bloodbaths and then pulls hate or something like that. So definitely no no wrong or right answer to do it as long as you just as long as as long as you're not dying, who cares, you know? I mean obviously a tank would simplify things, but it's the fun in doing it easy. And you know what's another way to manipulate the uh, enmity soft footing? Is maybe you designate a player to have strength and steel on, right? So if the person has strength on, they're going to pull more hate than the person who doesn't have strength on. Like that's that's almost like clear as day. So you can do it that way. It's like, okay, I'm tanking today. I'll be using the strength every time we get an extra, you know, so I can I can be the one tanking, if you will. Some, stuff like that can, can be a thing. <laughs> what are most people doing on Materia? Is it just an even split? I would still think it's like DPS favored. Or is this just like so many people doing like Sestasha right now because everyone's there? We've been dealing with I call out the mech and we adjust, we're still going at strong. Hey, as long as you're having fun, as long as you're having fun. Yo guys, I killed Edda with a tomahawk. Do you want to know how powerful tomahawk is, dude? I killed Edda with a tomahawk. Unreal buff. Yami, hello. We've been dealing with this. Oh, I read that already. The buff Tomahawk, yeah? Broken. Hey, Jace. Yep, Edda is the OG Reaper, that's right. Siphon everything.
Might be a bit too good. I wonder if it'll be nerfed in the future patch. <laughs> yeah, it might be, dude. They might realize they just, just, just broke the broke the game with it, you know. Or, or as someone said earlier, who that boy? They might find out it's too broken, so they'll nerf Dark Knight. <laughs> Shit, dude, Warrior is broken. We we did it too strong. Let's nerf some other job. I'm in danger of hitting the trap right now. Hold on. Let me heal first. Okay, let me get the LOS. Is that a silver or a gold? Looks like a gold chest. Yep, and it's cool. I mean, I see mostly Marauder and Arcanist, but that's because I saw it as Marauder. Gotcha. Well then, you're also in Limsa, so of course you're gonna see Marauder and Arcanist. You're not gonna see an Archer in Limsa. <laughs> That'd be very odd. How did you make it over here? Well, I guess they could just make it over there. Wait, no, Sistash is the first dungeon, so that means you don't even have access to airships yet, right? So yeah, you wouldn't even see an archer. You did! Damn, that's pretty hardcore. Walked all the way over. Well, I mean, I guess if you're past the story, you'll see one. Can you take a boat? But it's still Gridania. Like, it's not, you're still in Gridania for, uh... You're gonna, oh, you have airships before Sistasha? Oh. Uh, oh, that's true. See, this shows how much I know this story. AKA I don't. So, you, so you'll just see an overabundance of Marauder and Arcanists. That's what it is. You'll see an overabundance of, of, of them. Yeah, I know Sasash is the first one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that would make sense that it's the first one. I always think it's after, because then you go to Copper, then- oh no, then you go to, uh... Is it Copper Bell first? You go Copper Bell, then, uh... Centaur, or is it Centaur first and then Copper Bell? No, it's Centaur, then Copper Bell, right? Because after Copper Bell, unlocks the retainer. Man, it's been so long. Actually, it hasn't been that long. Like, when's the last character I leveled up? It was like a JP character or something. Oh yeah, my JP free trial is the last time I leveled up. Centaur is second, gotcha. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Then again, to tour the local dungeons. You know, back in my day, we had to walk up to the dungeon entrance to do the dungeons, you know that? Back in my day... Steel... Was that a 1.0 thing? I think Beta had that. I think Beta was, like, trying to do that. That was- I think that was quickly changed. back in the day. I think we did that in FF11. No, we definitely did that in FF11. Alright, see ya Mariko, have a good one. Something just spawned in my ear. Oh, I think it was. Summoning stones? Yeah, Copper Bell is like more annoying than anything, but for some reason I don't mind it as much. It is an annoying dungeon, but it definitely isn't as annoying as Totorok.
It's okay, my overpowered tomahawk will take care of it. This flighted. Gotcha. Bus came back. Let's kill an imp with Tomahawk because it's so powerful. Something just spawned. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go. Uh, gold chest here oh, is facing this way, so I'll go behind it. Step on the trap. Just kidding. Let's go. Yeah, we are pretty speedy. I think the, the multi pulls are helping with the speed for sure. Um, I don't mind. We'll go fast. Because we're not going to go fast later, that's for sure. Making up now. Get used to this strategy now. Rage. Yo, 56 Potcher. Make sure the oh, there's even more because this is the return, so there's even more. Get this one, make sure it dies. Sometimes, if you hit a landmine and then do a rage, there's a certain server tick where the enemy actually doesn't die because it regens. It regens just as the death activation is supposed to happen, and then it doesn't die if you hit a landmine. It's only very specific to a landmine. You have to make sure it dies because I've seen people hit them completely think it's dead, and then didn't realize it didn't die, and then die eventually because their HP was too low. You have to watch out for that. Didn't demonstrate it there, but I also just verbally said it so it wouldn't happen. Purity...
Alright, I stepped in the landmine here, so this is clear of a trap. Hey Ramza, how you doing, man? Happy reset day. God damn it, imp spawned here, so I have to go the long way. I just cleared up this room. I'm looking at some Ooh. Alright, hey, thanks for the raid, Shinobi. Again, good luck on your on your continued climb up top. Keep me posted, let me know how things go, and uh, thanks for bringing your crew over. Hmm, angry piano. We're playing the master playlist, as I like to call it. It is all the so essentially all the songs I have available to play. Um, and uh, we're continuing to test it out to see if, you know, Twitch or YouTube have a problem with it. Uh, you never know, they do, they might. Excellent, glad to hear it. Getting ready to be for bed, we'll enjoy the stream in the meantime. Cool, well I'm glad, I hope, uh, I hope the stream will be enjoyable in the meantime. End of the day, let's go. This is my end of the day. I wouldn't have asked for any other way to... Oh, I had to kill everything. I kicked it in the face to stun it. Not as not of a low not as low of a blow as you think. Oh man, a lot of steel would be useful. Do you stop playing at least one hour before sleep to make things easier? Oh, do you need like that shutdown time, Ramza? For your body to kinda like cool down? Maybe like to let the adrenaline go down? For me, I can absolutely like cut stream and just go right to bed. <laughs> Immediately lay down, I'm done. That, that something like that never usually bothers me, but I know like that's like a scientific thing too. That they say like with science that uh, like looking at your screen in the pitch in the pitch dark can affect your sleep cycle and all that stuff because um, of the brightness of the light. That's why blue lights are you know getting like blue light filters and stuff are really useful. For me, all it is is just that if I'm tired enough, that's it. I'm just gonna sleep. So a lot of times when I'm streaming, it does. It's the end of the day. You know, sometimes I'm exhausted, and this is even like if we do like a like a hype run. Even if I do a run where like we clear or something like that, it doesn't matter. I can usually just go right to bed. So it's kind of nice. Um, Draco, thanks for following. Welcome in. Hello. I don't see how you do 100 after. I don't see how you do 120 points after workday. Or so if they're the boring fours. Well, my work days theoretically IRL are like Monday, Wednesday, so today is more like, you know, I'm just relaxing, chilling, and then we do, and then this would be the work day, if you will. Um, but no, fair. I mean, to do 120 after doing something, like if I, if I, if I did like a, like a quote unquote work day, and then did the thing, I think I would be way more exhausted. Um, especially yesterday in general, because like, it was a long day, so... A lot of purity. Yeah, 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 mm hmm But to be fair, like, when it comes, like... It's interesting because... Of course, when it comes to streaming... And I'm sure any of the- any people who are listening that are streamers can probably uh, agree to this, that... You know, what you see live is not all we're doing. Like, there is a whole lot of other backend stuff that you do off stream, right? So today, like what I was doing today was I, uh, we did a lot today. I uh, fixed up all my Bard videos because I hadn't done that yet. So all the details are in, all the time steps are in. Um, I have all the videos set up and that's scheduled to go live on Thursday. I also finished up detailing and, and time stamping my warrior when we did the warrior on Friday. So that took quite a bit of time. Uh, and then I also, uh, you know, did a couple other things on that end of stuff, and that takes a while, you know, that takes some time to do. So that's all part of the stuff that goes into it. And then, and I have, and I've done a lot of other things too, like, you know, when I do the shorts and stuff, that's, I handle that kind of all in one day, and I just set it up and preset it so it's all ready to go now. I am, dude, I'm now doing a lot of scheduled posts on YouTube. Um, 
I have videos scheduled all the way until like the second week of February at this point. So I just set it and forget it. Pretty nice. Yeah, and Loken, I think you're probably going to... You're probably gonna understand that more and more too, you know? Like even like figuring out what you're gonna play the next day. Making sure all of your all of your assets are working. Uh, making sure shit doesn't break. I mean that's all part of it too. Um, you know, if you if you get the lighting or however decor you go for your place and stuff, even that, even if you go web or no webcam or no webcam, it's still part of the setup, you know? And even even now, like what I've definitely definitely had to adjust was like I now always have to eat before stream. I never did. I was always fine with one meal. But as we started doing more streams, I started to obviously get hungry during streams, so now I have to make sure I prep a dinner at a certain time, you know? I prep food at a certain time, so I'm I'm okay to, to go in. That's all part of the schedule at this point. Yeah, so... So there's a lot that go in the back end of things. Um, I mean, like, even deciding what to do today, that's all part of it. And then, and then not to mention, sometimes, like... Like... For pre and Walker, I had to make sure that we had enough potters, and I wasn't gonna—I wasn't really gonna do that on stream, so I had to do that off stream. That's that's in theory for this specific content. That's uh, part of the setup of things too. Yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that go in the back end. But with that being said, right? So you can see, you say you talk about a work day. For that, I mean, I as much as you consider that a work day, it's not as exhausting. I I personally don't find it as, as exhausting for me, even though we did a lot today. Um, although if I do my like IRL job, it'll be more exhausting. Knowing what I'm going to actually stream ahead of time makes me way less stressful. That's why I think the schedule is nice, Floken. I mean, even though like on my end, sometimes I'm like even up into today, like specifically today, I was still trying to debate on what job I wanted to do. Like like no memes or anything. The the um the patch notes didn't decide what I wanted to play today. Um, I think what made it kind of a little bit more sure of what I wanted to play was when I couldn't transfer my character until like, you know, like an hour ago, which I'm not doing until tomorrow. But, you know, I was thinking about doing it on Primal, getting Warrior there, and then it's like, well, I wouldn't even have Ready anyway, so I'm not even going to bother with it. So then I'm like, whatever, I'll just do Warrior. Um, so a lot of that sometimes is there. Um, and then not to mention you have to, yeah, you have to think of the future too, right? Like I don't know, Loken. Like if you if you thought about what you're doing for like literally this week and next week, right? I don't know how far ahead you plan your stuff. Um, for me, I'm I don't, I go week to week, but then the other things you do, like for instance, I was talking about how we might make a summoner video. I might make a video on summoner discussing how summoner has changed in Walker and why I feel like it might be popular. Uh, that takes quite a bit of setting up and planning. I wish I could knock that out in one day, holy shit, but that's that's that shit that shit takes so long to do. Until I get through the final fan to get all the final fancies. Oh that's cool. But I, I imagine that's a little bit that's a little bit um Oh you probably have set like, you know, what games you're playing in order, so that probably makes life really easy. So then if you have like um let's say for some reason you all of a sudden beat a game, I guess you just like pop in the next one and continue, right? That probably makes life a little bit easier. Do I have a meal prep? I did, I did for week one, um, I did for week one, uh, EA, when the game released, I did it for that, um, kind of, but it was really useful, so it was, it was definitely a big time save, it was nice to know that I immediately had food I could go to, um, but I don't go to serious food prep, our buddy, uh, Recipe was born, I was taking a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of, um, ideas from her, she was, she was very, she was very nice to share a lot of her thoughts and, and ideas on, meal prep and stuff, and, and she showed me like, one of the meal preps she did, she meal prepped for like two weeks plus, I'm like, well, that's a lot of food. So I didn't go that crazy, I meal prepped to have enough food for like, like maybe five days. And it was great, it was fantastic, so. But I don't really meal prep for like, my everyday schedule. I think you'll do more guys like the Machinist Remy's ones. Um, like the live tutorial C9? I, I have a couple of them. We actually just did one for, uh, Warrior on Sunday. I just did a live tutorial on Warrior Sunday, and I think that went really well. Um, and yeah, I will, to some point. Sometimes I have to be in the mood for it, C9, because it's a lot of talking. And it's a lot of, like, literally talking about what we're doing, and 
and like certain strategies that come into play. I, I was in the game on Sunday. We like I was like pulling other things out of the hat in terms of like, oh, I let's try this thing that I can show you guys, something like that. Um, but other times like today, it's kind of nice to kind of let the brain loose and just kind of hit buttons and then have a little bit more of a conversation with you guys. Because sometimes when you do do the live tutorials, it is a lot of me. It's it's a lot more of me talking to the screen and explaining things, and it's more of just like a sit and listen type of format, um, which is fine because I, I know you guys appreciate that. But sometimes it's kind of nice, you know, having more fun with you guys. So it depends on my mood, and and, and a hundred percent. Sometimes I think about it, it's like, man, am I in the mood for this today? You know what? Let's just do a regular clear today. So, but I did want to do the warrior. I technically did a live tutorial for Reaper when we cleared Reaper back in like week 2. So that is a live tutorial and we tried to really explain that one because I felt comfortable with Melee already. And we were having such a good time on Reaper all, like to begin with so I figured I'd try to do it like that. But yeah, like what's interesting C9 is that the motivation to like let's say redo Machinist or redo Red Mage is not quite as important. Um, because those guides are still, like, very accurate for what it is now. Like, if Deep Dungeon had changed drastically from Shadowbringer to Endwalker, then they would definitely get invalidated. And I still kind of consider them, like, null and void. But in reality, people currently are still using them, and they are still being useful to people. Um, so I can't complain, right? Dude, I am so... I was so, like, shocked at the amount of views those video have those videos have like the red mage ones are like the one to one the one to 120 red mage is at like 40 45000 views right now and the 121 to 200 red mage is at like 25 and I, and I don't I don't do the machine is one went wild and crazy for sure and I mean a lot of that was was helped with uh, Zeppelin Asmin of course but it's pretty wild to see those numbers on those videos um, but it's really awesome also at the same time You're not good at a job? Hey, that's okay. If you don't like the job, you don't like the job. Um, you know, when I do those videos, C9, I try to keep the focus on just that job, right? We just try to focus in, hey, this is what this job can pull off. Here's what you can do in this job. Um, but a lot of times in other places and in other streams, I always talk about how um, they're, everyone is going to be different. Everyone will play this game differently. And there are people currently who will just not touch Machinists or will not play Machinists. No matter how many times you tell them, hey, this is the best shot, this has the most clears, look at this kit, it's fantastic, they won't touch it. You can't force them. And honestly, like, if you try to force a person to play a job they just don't like, I mean, what kind of result are you going to be getting? Like, of course they're not going to play the job good. Because you don't like the job. So there are definitely people like that out there, and that's okay because you can clear on other jobs. It's obviously proven. Every job has cleared again. You know, like Reapers and Sage have cleared. Like that was great. So every single job has cleared Deep Dungeon, and it honestly is just a thing about finding your job. That's all that's important. Unless, unless you're racing, unless you're racing for a certain time where you have a deadline and you need to do it in X amount of time or you're competing against some other person, like, okay, sometimes the information of knowing which is the best choice is gonna be important, but I suspect many people who are aiming for the title are doing it because they don't have other things to do in the game right now. Maybe they're done with Savage, maybe they don't do Savage, they're just looking for a challenge. So there's no deadline or timeline that you're looking for, you just want to get the thing done. And what better than to do it you know, try not to suffer through it, try to enjoy the experience. How was the Reaper one, Goat? Amazing. Um, Reaper is extremely strong in here. Like, it is probably one of the strongest jobs in here, period. Summoner makes a case, though. Uh, and certainly, like, something like Machine is still powerful. And it got, you know, even more powerful. Um, the thing is, Reaper is still a melee, and a melee is a melee, and melee has its issues in terms of the entire run in itself. Um, it is very challenging. I would almost not never recommend a melee for like someone who is just starting Deep Dungeon. Like as your first job, that's a tough task. You know, give give the kiting jobs a try. Give the give the tanks a try. See how it feels first. Learn Deep Dungeon. Once you learn Deep Dungeon, then maybe, okay, maybe you want to get back into Melee. You know, they're still learning of this game mode as opposed to learning how to play the job. 
Um, but hey, there are people who have gotten Necromancer on Ninja. They got the title. We're talking getting the title, not clearing. Getting the title. People have gotten the title on Ninja. People have gotten the title on Monk. So you're not chasing something impossible. Just understand that you're walking into a very tough challenge. That's all, it, that's all I'm saying. And some people will love the challenge. We had someone earlier on stream. His name was Om. And he wants to dedicate it to, to Dragoon. The Dragoon is very tough, but look. If that's the job you want to take it in, it's been cleared. You just gotta find your way to, to make it happen. That's all it is. Hey, Niche, thanks for that tier one. Thank you very much. That's tremendous for supporting the stream. Um, that sub really, really means a lot to me. So thank you. Appreciate it. Speaking of Machinist, I suspect the only one of my mains I play is Warrior. Okay. Uh, Monk is already tight with local ping, so it's out. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I feel like I can't press buttons fast enough on Machinist to try and get things. Gotcha. Should I try and weep right now? Weeper is good. My phone died earlier? I'll rip phone, dude. Rip the battery. Do you think Gunbreaker Warrior is stronger in Heaven on High with changes they did to... to... R.I.? Oh, do I think? So, I have... So, Ashley. I honestly have always thought Warrior was actually superior to Gunbreaker, period. Even back in Shadowbringers. But this is a point that I will always mention, and for some of you, this might have, this might just sound like repeating again. You probably already know what I'm going to get to. But one of the re one of the things I was told, which made so much sense, as to why Gunbreaker may always stay ahead of Warrior, is accessibility. Just pure accessibility. Like there is nothing wrong with Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker is the well balanced shot. It has a solid defense. It has a solid offense, and the and the offense gets better in the later floors. You know. It's just a very well-built job. It has really good sustain with the regen and the brutal shell and all that stuff. The thing is, if you're talking to someone who has never unlocked a singular tank in their life in this game, well, Gunbreaker unlocks at 60. You just level it one time, boom, you're straight into heaven on high. If you want to do warrior, you either have to boost that job up or you have to level it 60 times. And that, I mean, look, tell a, tell a person to level 60 times, I'm not sure they're gonna kind of have a liking to that, you know? Okay, I'll just do, I'll just take, you know, two weeks to make this happen. Gunbreaker, it's like one day, boom, you're there. 61, easy game. So I think accessibility probably dictates why someone would pick a, pick a Gunbreaker over a, a Warrior. But, to kind of get back to your question. I said Warrior felt superior in Shadowbringers. Warrior has certainly got, gotten a lot better in Endwalker, so based on the original statement, Warrior is even better. Um, the raw intuition is ridiculous. And one thing that was a big change with the raw intuition, Ashley, was that I was able to do Warrior without using a single Empyrean Potion, which I couldn't do before, and Gunbreaker couldn't do that. I tried, it just doesn't have enough sustain to not use uh, Empyrean Potions, and we did it on uh, Warrior. Zero. Zero potions on Warrior. 1 to 100, even Onra, 0. That's ridiculous. That's <laughs> like, that's ridiculous, you know? Crazy. You mean, you mean the Warriors is trash? You know, everyone will have a different skill level. I, I don't care for that. I don't judge people by that at all. All I care about is just finding a way for, for you guys to just get this title, you know? I feel like this is not a title meant for God God tier gamers. This is a title meant for everyone. And all about and all it is is about translating it that every single person can get this title. So like if you have a problem understanding a certain mechanic, well I'll try to just like make it even simpler, you know? That's why a lot of times I will say that I do I always do the safe route. I always play safe. We don't go crazy with we don't go too crazy with strategies, although I like to demonstrate crazy strategies. But I prefer the safer shots because I think that's what hopefully a vast majority will be able to pull off. Got to 40 though, watching the machine is nice. Good. Glad. Happy to hear it. Can you pull anything on Warrior? Um, I think once you get to the higher floors, you're still gonna want to avoid things. Like an Anzu is probably still gonna give you a problem, although Raw Intuition might change that. But you wouldn't pull an Anzu to begin with. Like, like, like Wolves, Anzus, you don't pull them. It isn't because you can't. And you can't kill them, that's not the point. War wolves heal themselves. Anzus stunlock you. So it's just a longer fight. You could just pull an ape and you'll just 
kill it faster than an Anzu. So there's certain fights that you kind of don't want to do, like a Frost Dragon you probably still don't want to do because that thing is going to kick your ass with the OT. A Worm, you might be able to survive a Worm because of the because of your your mitigation. It's still kind of a nasty fight. A uh, Scorpion sucks because it gives you slow. Slow sucks. You can't really stop the slow either. So I mean, that's just a longer fight. So there are certain enemies that we tell you not to pull, and. Many times it is because they kick your ass, but other times it's because they just do something to you that it's just like... It just makes the fight more annoying. Crawlers, for instance. Crawlers are in that category. You can kill a crawler, but it gives you slow. He is gonna fight it longer, right? The only acceptable one would be like the curls. Because at least they're a little bit easier, they don't double attack even though they paralyze you. But it's kind of the same rules for all of them. Uh, hey Storm. Uh, it is cruising. We are essentially on cruise control. Like, 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 no joke. We are kind of on cruise control. Just chilling with chat, talking to guys, answering questions, having some fun, listening to some good music, making sure my music doesn't uh, cause any problems. Wet Matty. No! What job we do it on? Oh, uh, point one. Oh god. Man, that's like. Oh. Could be the setup. Could be just the Miss GCD. Oh man. Were you able to discern what it could be? That's most important. Were you able to figure out what it could be? You forget. Oh my. Wow. And you. Wow. And you got to point one for getting a tincture. That's a lot. Of, I would take that as huge confidence, you know? I'd take that as a victory. Yeah, okay, you didn't get past it. You did get to prog 1, 1, 181 plus, but... Hey, you, you might, you're probably not gonna forget that tincture now, right? Does anyone else feel is, is really squishy in Palace? I'm finding using my heals way more than Dragoon. Um, so, I think supposedly Reaper has the same defense as Dragoon. And what's interesting, uh, Omnom, is that Dragoon did feel more tanky. But when I was on Reaper, I did feel a little more squishy. And that's why going by feel. But I think statistically, it does have the same defense. Yeah, what Loken said. That means your rotation was on, on the spot, which is hard already, right? Getting the right rotation is difficult. So for you to get the proper rotation, boom. You just needed that tincture. Oh, I got you. Okay. I guess I got him to with tap first to be dangerously mistaken away from them. Absolutely. Marnie, hello, I will read your thing. Give me a second. Have I done machinist pass? I have. I have, and I died, uh I did die in like 187. My machinist run was a mess. Like we had some really interesting things happen in the machinist run. The game wanted to kill me, and I I was not smart enough to handle it. But one thing that's important. Oh, actually, you know what? I should, what I can what I can show you. Oh God, what is the name? What is the command? Uh. Oh God, what is the command? What's the hot EU? Hey, there it is. <laughs> oh my God, I have I possess no logic in my commands. Why don't I call it Machinist comparison? Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, 
I did do a video, Lorne, if you haven't seen it yet. I did compare Machinist and in Shadowbringers and Endwalker. Um, and basically, kind of the too long don't read version is that Behemoth is the same for Machinist. How it was in Shadowbringers is how it is now in Endwalker. So if you're worried about it being harder, I would totally dispel that and just tell you don't worry about it. You know what I mean? It's still a challenge, but it isn't any easier, but it isn't any harder. We had a, we had one or two people do Behemoth, and they did it like right after, like right before, uh, right before Endwalker, and then after Endwalker, and they did the same exact burst and everything, and they said they landed like everything went exactly in the same GCD, like like the damage, everything was just the same GCD. So it's kind of cool. Same trick with uh, actually, if you're doing healing strat, you do not need to use food anymore. Uh, I did the I did my healing strat um, on Machina, and I purposely went into there not taking off food. And here's the reason why: it's because because your HP pool is smaller, the potions that you use are actually going to be. Um, they're actually going to be much more potent. Like they'll just heal you for more HP now. Because then, take like take something like a max potion. So if you had like sixteen thousand HP, you, let's say you know you had like eighteen thousand machinists or sixteen thousand machinists, uh, and you had a max potion, it did 20, 2400 there. Now that you have like ten thousand, it still does twenty four hundred. So in essence, the change of the the change of the potion, the change of the stat squish made potions just heal you for more percentage, which makes up for the fact that like, okay, you use food to reduce your HP. It doesn't become something necessary anymore. And when I did it without you taking food off, it was comfy. Like it wasn't even in risk. Where I did try to do Machinas and Shadowbringers before, and I, I consciously left food on, and I died because I actually just did not have enough HP to survive Meteor. And that's why it became this like kind of rule of like, oh, okay, uh, you have to take off food because you'll die, because I died. But now it's different. Yeah, does that make sense? So like, the potions just didn't change, but your HP is shorter. So instead of healing like 16,000 HP with 2400, you're healing, you're healing 10,000 HP with 2400, therefore the higher percentage of the, uh, the higher percentage of the, of the potion. Let me find something. I found my question before my phone died. Any advice for a hit? Now I want to spend. That's why I'm not being efficient. So like, so 51 to 60 will be your best bet in terms of farming arm and armor. You do it in match party. It's like your best bet of doing it. Um. So that's there. And one thing I did. I'm not sure if you heard me say. I guess you probably missed it. It's okay. Um. If you do a fresh run. One thing you can do is do like one or two grips per fresh run. So like let's say you do a climb up, you're trying to do a 1 to 200 climb, you do like one or two grips when you're at 99.99. And then you kind of can slowly build that that stock up here, here and there. More confident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't know about getting party. Uh, match party, yeah. Okay, I, I can get, I can understand that a little bit. Um, I mean, that's why we do the solo content and stuff. But match party, a lot of times, is a little bit, it's kind of painless, it's fast. I would just try running it a couple times. It is the most efficient. Um, but give it a shot, see how you feel. If you want to just do it solo the whole time, okay, I get it. Yeah, like, like, that makes sense, so.
to be able to chat in here and ask questions. You know, that's a good perspective, Logan. He's a perspective. Problem is my server's JP can't speak any Japanese. A lot of times you'd have to talk at all. Uh, here's my recommended advice, Niche. Here's my recommended advice. Like when you're, what's the goal in in this in these floors in general? Your goal is basically to kill the enemies, get to the exit. So as long as like you kill some enemies, check some chests, and if you get to the exit before like everyone else gets there, you're good. Sometimes in, in NA, sometimes people get a little weird when you're when you like take a long a long time getting to the exit. But like if you get to the exit fast enough, then. No one's gonna complain. And again, you don't have to converse with anyone, it's just a quick run. The runs usually take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most, um, so... And I understand kind of the apprehension of doing it in a party, um, but these are fast runs, so... I have the strength running. Oops. Oh, I gotta pull this though. Takes a long time. So the 51 to 60 is in a different thing because a lot of people spam 51 to 60 because that's the perfect leveling for 1 to 60. All the other ones are tricky. And the reason why is because you can go into a fresh file with Deep Dungeon 1 to 1 to 10 or 51 to 60. But all the other files you have to build into it. So like, you know, you get to 1 to 10 in a match party, well, you get to 11 to 20, but you're kind of stuck there unless you start up, start up a new file. Um, and that's why 51 to 60 will be a lot quicker, because most people are doing that one. Um, if that makes sense. Okay, let's go to the boss. Tomahawk, direct hit, let's go. I'll eat it again. The only thing I can't eat is the puddle because he gets buffed from the puddle. I need to do a better job. I, I think we'll do this on um on Thursday. We'll do a better job on Thursday about um, managing my gauge. Because what I want to have is I want to have basically infuriate or full gauge and then we berserk and then we do double fail cleave into a single uh, thingy. But I have to make sure that I don't overuse, I basically don't overuse my infuriate to make that happen. I, I remember that from before, but... for a second. Okay, let me BRB for a second, guys. <gasps> Soren's Blade! Oh, perfect timing, my friend. Yo, shout out to our buddy Soren. FF5! Yo! Good time. Yeah, I'm in between floors. I was gonna take a small break, but it worked out pretty well. What's up, Soren? How are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome community of Mr. Soren, the Square Next Gamer Master on stream. Guys, if you want to watch a lot of different Square Next games, 
Uh, Soren's got a high quality stream for that. And he does play some 14 as well, but he's a really good entertaining man. Uh, check him out. Great stream over there. What's up? How is, how is 5? How's that going? And how's 14 for you? I know you've been playing 14 a little bit, so hopefully that's going well with the raids and stuff. Welcome in, guys. Angela's Demon is here. Oh my god, all the raids! Lots well, coming up in watch. I know! Hey, I might be playing some of those games. Uh, triangle strategies in my is in my wheelhouse, and I might do uh, I might do um, exchange of paradise. You know, it's sorry if you if you didn't come in here with FF five, I would have guessed that you were finishing your reclears. But I know probably Lab was finishing her reclears. Tri triangle strategy looks so good, dude. I'm looking forward to it. Oh my God, it's a Twitch baby, Lab. Thanks for bringing your crew over. <laughs> Have I played any FF series of 14? I have. I've played a lot of them, Chicken Soup. I can talk about that when I get back. Stranger's Paradise looks super fun. It was super fun. The demo was super fun. Um, so I'm, I'm very much interested in it because the demo pulled me in. So um, I kind of want to try it out. Lab, how is your stream? Thank you for bringing your crew over. Welcome in all the raiders. Angela's Demon is here. We are doing some Deep Dungeon solo on Warrior. If you didn't know, Warrior got massively buffed last night. It was like incredible how big of a buff it got. So that's why we're on Warrior, we're exploring the new buff that it got. Um, it has just been mind-blowing how strong Warrior is right now. Um, so we're testing it out in Palace of the Dead. And this is my first time I'm seriously taking in Warrior, so this will be like the setup. Nothing will be too challenging right now, but I get to chill with you guys, so... Tomahawk Supremacy? Absolutely, man. I can see- you can see me destroying- I gotta- I gotta see, because it's not a type of game I'm used to playing, so I gotta get used to it. But, um, it'll be interesting to try it out. It was really so laggy- Really? All the reclears in the bag? Nice! What happened to Chris? I've been hearing some people getting lag and stuff. But anyway, let me step away for a second, I'll BRB, and then we'll continue the run. So thank you to all the raiders, I'll be back in a minute or two, so BRB guys, thanks for- thanks for being here, thanks, I really appreciate it guys. BRB.
Oh, it's short break. Uh, multiplayer stream of Strangers of Paradise? Does that game have multiplayer? <laughs> I don't even know. All I did was play demo one, and that's all I know about the demo. All I know is that that game seemed like it's gonna have such a high skill ceiling, and that's why it's enticing me. It would probably be a pretty entertaining game to potentially play on stream or something. Um, so that's why I'm buying it. Uh, I don't know why, but a lot of us had lag. Shit, sorry to hear. I've been okay all night. Um, I, yeah, I, maybe it's just a crystal thing, but I've been okay in game today, um, personally. Are you fucking kidding me. I think I remember seeing it mentioned. That sounds cool. I have not looked into it, Sir Guaro. I didn't even- I didn't try Demo 2, you know? I didn't even try Demo 2, so I have no idea what's happened in that game at all. I just- I was already sold by Demo 1, um... So... But it's gonna be- so like- like... As Soren said, at least- I don't know about you, Soren. I mean, I know you got a lot of score next games coming in, but for me... I have four games coming in a span of a month. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look forward to Elden Ring. Never played that game series. Never played that genre. So I want to try Elden Ring. And then you have Triangle Strategy, which would be top priority for me. I think of the four games I'll mention, Triangle is the top priority. So it's Elden, pro uh, Triangle Strategy into Tiny Tina. I want to do the Tiny Tina one into Strange of Paradise. So that's like the four games that I'm really looking forward to. They all get released within a month of each other. Yeah, it's great. And I was looking at the schedule, I kind of wanted to get a, an idea of what was releasing. Like, everything is compact between like February and April, and then it kind of chills after that, but there's probably going to be other things showing up, but... Oh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy time for gaming. It's going to be an awesome time for gaming. And of course, like, Lost Ark is not showing up on the 11th, and I'm not interested in Lost Ark, but I know a lot of people are interested in Lost Ark. Uh, so we'll see how that happens. Maybe, maybe I can finally, you know, always log into 14 without having queues. Although I did log in yesterday without having queues, but you know, they want to have more jobs in the game than 25 jobs. Oh man, oh, the game is gonna be nuts, man. If like, I kind of hope I can get good at that game because I feel like Strangers of Paradise is gonna be such an entertaining, like, show game. You know. Like, to like, to go gamer mode, I feel like that game is gonna be the game. To just, to just show off how, how much of a gamer you could be. That's why I'm kind of interested. Because I already saw that complexity off Demo 1. The complexity of the, of the controls and everything, I'm like, oh my god, this can go in so many directions. The blocking system, the pair, like, I forgot everything, but like, just the one job, you had all of these different, like, ways of playing the game. Goodness gracious, man. I saw a clip of Samurai in one of the animations to trade for 14, Moon Slash thing, the Moon Slash thing, the Moon Slash thing. So like, Gecko? Gecko I think is the moon one. 11 has the moon thing, the moon shows up in 11, literally. Did I pick up the strength? Yeah. You leveled Red Mage to full, I think you can quad cast? So what are you just like, you're like moving and casting? Instant casting? Yo, what's up Gaia? I'm still debating like how I may want to attempt to, like I, I kind of want to stream these games and I'm still really thinking about how I'm going to implement it, you know? We've been streaming this content in 14 basically all the time, but I'm really strongly considering it. I think a couple of you guys seem to be kind of interested in it too, so I'm, I'm still, still debating how I want to pull it off. You're just like a magic cannon. Oh. Damn, that sounds so much fun. Uh... Sounds like so much fun. It's gonna be interesting. I definitely would like a game that can give me a lot of mileage, you know? Well, like, you know, JRPG, like Triangle Strategy, I hope that gives me some mileage too, but I'm gonna play that game from beginning to end. I don't care what it's gonna do to me as long as it's fun. I could use a tactics team too. I've been wanting the tactics. I've been wanting the tactics team for a while, you know. It's been a minute. I think the last tactics game I played was, well, technically I guess you can include uh, the last. What's that? What's that? What's that one called? The last. Uh, 
last something. Last spell, last spell. But the last one I played, which was like AAA, was like Fire Emblem. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it. I got a month remaining to figure out how I want to pull it off, but... Um, I'm still deciding how I want to potentially do it. Considering Triangle Challenge the big thing is about choices. It'd be cool to compare in real time what you get versus others. Is that actually a thing? Like, are you telling me that's what's gonna happen? Or, you, or is that what you hope is gonna happen? Oh, it would be cool. Okay, it would be cool. Gotcha. That's another game I... Again, I know it's gonna exist. I have not looked up anything. I avoided the demo. I specifically did not play the Triangle Strategy demo. Because I knew if I played that a year ago, I would be like, I want to keep playing it and I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> you know? I'm going to feel annoyed at myself. It's like, I can't play this game for a year. Like, what the fuck? So I avoided the demo. I just didn't do it. Um, I saw, like, pieces of the demo. I think I was watching Curious Joy play the demo. Just pieces of it. I just wanted to see a tiny bit of it. And I'm like, yeah, this, uh, I'm good. This game's great. I'm going to get it. All good. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I don't think a tactics game has ever failed me. Um, I love that genre. One of my favorite genres. Play a tactics game like that. So. God, I can't wait, man. Got a month left before all these games start kicking in. Gecko. It was um it was like uh I feel like it, it is it does translate to probably translate to moon or something. But it was gecko. Oh, that's a treasure. Uh ooh, steel. Uh pop the steel. Okay, what do I have here? We have tiger, y'all. Okay. I can't see the other one. Okay. Easy game. Now what is this chest? I didn't check it. Sight. Oh, I didn't I didn't check it. Uh, safety... Definitely want to check these chests, although I probably have to fight the Cyclops. Resolution, all cap down. Raw Intuition? Raw Intuition is love. <laughs> yes, hearts to raw intuition. Uh, okay, these are all procs. Don't do it. Good boys. I'm gonna sneak the other chests. Uh, I can't see that one. I'm gonna Sustain is insane. It's it's incredibly good. Yep. Uh, that's one reason why I was kind of excited to get into Palace for this one, because of that. It's because of the the Warrior Sustain. Um, 
and to see what it can do. I mean, I've already heard a lot of a lot of runners having some success. Warrior, Warrior was one job I honestly avoided in Shadowbringers. Like I wanted to do other jobs before I got to Warrior. So, you know, now it's in this situation, kind of is kind of is nice to to, to give this a try and to really leverage it. And I've spent so much time in this job already, so I've I've a solid familiarity with what it can pull off and everything. You know, so. Okay, let's see how many fail cleaves I missed today. <laughs> I don't DM you though. I just look at your message and I'm like, thanks, and I just talk about it. Yeah, I'm kinda... It's all good. I just need a second to get this out. Like I have um I have a plan that I want to go for with uh, Behemoth, um, and a lot of times my plans don't work, but there's always this important part about understanding the the downsides and the upsides of what you try to do. And let's refer back to even like the Bard run, right? Like I referred to Pin's video, and one reason I looked at Pin's video was because when re when resolution gets involved, things get very tricky. And it was pretty much like, it seemed like you needed resolution. So I, and, and, and there was so many moving parts when it came to Bard. So I had to really just get some type of general concept of what he did. And then even after I watched his video, I made some modifications to the way I wanted to perform it. Like I didn't do a double reso. Uh, my timing of minuet was different from pins. Um, I did an Iron Jaws, which actually I was planning to Iron Jaws after Ref Raging Strike, but I did an Iron Jaws for that. 
So, you know, I like to get the general idea, but I feel like Warrior is really about just planning out how my buffs go along. I don't think it's gonna be any further complicated than that outside of just seeing what the results would be, really. So, using Rezo is scary. It's, yeah, I mean, we talked about it a little bit, right, Shayla? I mean, using Rezo in general is scary. Using Rezo in the middle of the bursts towards the end, like, would you have to do a Dark Knight? That's scary. Hey, what mod? How you doing, man? Happy reset day! How was your reset day? Made Frog on second month, excellent. You said you probably cleared this week, I think, right? That's what that's what the goal was to go this week. My heart raised, yeah, it raises my heart like nothing else. Like nothing else, gotcha, Jayla. Kill it this week, two my to raid this week. Okay. I believe, Wet Mog, I believe. Second boss of. What act did you get on, P on, on uh, P4? You got middle and. Where are we at? I'm actually. Even though I watched a lot of it. Oh, you're right there! Aren't there like. Aren't there like basically five sections of that fight? Right? There's kind of like five sections of that fight or six sections of the fight. I'm not overly familiar with like which parts are more difficult and stuff. Like, for instance, I know I kind of know that like with E12, getting through basic relativity was probably the harder bit of it, and then it and then as you got past there, things started to get just a little bit more like the curve of difficulty started to ease up a little bit. I'm not familiar with it for E12. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with with um, P4. I choose the hardest. Act two is the one where you gotta where you gotta um like rotate or something, at least when I was watching Celine's crew, you guys have to like rotate and like blow up tether and stuff and rotate, load up and have people, whatever. I think. I think? Yeah, I haven't watched that fight in a while. Oh, well. I'm just talking on my ass. Plus towers? Gotcha. See, I raid, guys! Who don't raid? No, I'm kidding. I just watch as much footage as I can so it makes it look like I know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Chicken soup. With the changes, with the change of raw intuition, maybe you don't need to rezzo for the for the behemoth anymore. I don't know. Uh, well, I I know that beforehand there was a rezzo strat chicken soup. Although I think also there was a, there was potentially a strat without the resolution. Um. So I don't know. I just I just have to hit a whole bunch of buttons and see if they work, and then figure it out later. I think I'm I'm gonna definitely leverage the. What I'm gonna definitely leverage is um, thirty second combo. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna experiment. I'm not gonna look at any videos. I didn't look at any videos, I'm not gonna look at any videos. Recent combo series made dark a lot easier. How is Chela? How is the fact that Abyssal Drain shares a cooldown with Carbon Spit? Like, is that kind of a big thing or not really? You don't use Abyssal Drain anymore. Is that because the Oh, because the super pot makes up for it. Okay, so that wasn't as big of a deal as I thought. Like when I when someone mentioned that, I'm like, wait a minute, that's kind of actually pretty big. Okay, gotcha.
There's an enemy waiting. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You need every ounce of healing up. Yeah, oh yeah, before it was every ounce, yeah. And that makes things a lot better, <laughs> that I don't have to worry too much about it. But I don't know, Dark Knight is not on my menu for a while. I thought about it, but not soon. Like, I probably want to get back into Dragoon and Ninja before I even get back into Dark Knight. Uh, maybe even get to Scholar before I even think about Dark Knight, you know? Um, that is just one run that is just terrifying to me. Like now that Ninja's fixed, no, I guess Ninja's in a spot that it got the update, which was I was always always saying like, hey, I'm gonna wait for Ninja to get the update. Ninja got the update, so I kind of want to turn there. I, I want to explore Dragoon um, to see the new Dragoon. You enjoy watching Deep Dungeon more than doing it. Well, I mean, it does things to your emotions for sure. I guess it's flighted. What do you think of Astro? <laughs> Astro has the weakest damage of everyone. You know, you should, if you ever get a chance to talk to Aurora, Aurora has been work, working on Astro. Astro is insane. It's a very tough job. However, I will say, when I did Astro in Heaven on High, in Shadowbringers, I did like it a lot. Like, I actually enjoyed playing the job, but it was one hell of a challenge, you know, no matter how you looked at it. Weakest damage out there, and in a place where healer already has bad damage and you're trying to go fast, it's very difficult to pull it off. But, I mean, it's doable. People have done it, obviously. It's on. It's not on my high list. Like, it's gonna be, like, one of the last jobs I take in, to be fair. But it's only because I know that it's a challenge, not because I'm dreading playing it. Um, it's just because I know it's going to probably take me a while to prog it, figure out what I want to do with it, so on and so forth. That's all. I should use Berserk. Fuck. Oh. I parked that in a really bad spot, because he's gonna run to that area and I just don't have a free spot right now. I'm a dumbass. Suzaku music is a banger. Especially this remix of Suzaku music. This remix in particular is one of my favorite versions of the song. This song actually made me appreciate the original, because I never did Suzaku in the in this game. I've never done Suzaku in this game. I never unlocked those those quests. So I never heard the song. But this song definitely made me appreciate it. Which was the one with uh, DDR? Was that the one with DDR? And then Biako was the one with the uh, tunnel thing, right? From the sky. You, you like maneuver your character and not get hit with shit. Suzaku's DDR? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have them unlocked. If anyone does trials with me on Aether or Primal, You'll never see those, uh, you'll never see those fights. Because <laughs> I never unlock them. Never see them. And I have no intentions of, lock of unlocking them either. Panty shot special. I see. Was it always called that? I'm confused. 
Oh, I gotta get into this hole, save my gauge for Berserk. When Berserk comes up, use the gauge. I gotta get used to it. Also, maybe I should have held it. Because I'm getting into burst phase soon. Have berserk for a uh, oops. I won't have berserk for uh, the burst. Oopsie. I'll just push him. It's fine. Not a big deal. I'm not gonna die anyway. It'll be funny to test you how much you do a story after meteor for this one. If he survives long enough. So I got hit for 90, 9, 9,552, so... How much does Thrill do? 2,000. How much does Equilibrium do? 4,000. Oh. Oh. 2,000, 4,000. I did! I don't get Glams though. Artifacts. I'm gonna make a Twitter post once we hit 999. So this Twitter post is gonna happen in about six months from now when I hit 9999. I'm gonna have to watch that again. But is there a um? You can kind of play with it. Like basically, Al's the what you want to go for is like Behemoth is going east and west for 80. For uh, for 180, he's going north and south. So essentially, you just want to put the tornadoes just not where he's going to go, east and west. That's all it is. And if you take damage, not that big of a deal. <clears throat> what would you get? What would it would it take you to get all the relics for Shadowbringers? Um, I don't think I have all the ones for raw emotions. I, I'm probably missing some of the bitter memories and stuff. So, I uh, hey Ludar, thanks for being here. We saw 78, no problem. Alright, let's go to the next 481 plus. I put the tornadoes alongside one of him and dodge the thief near the side. Yeah, either way. <laughs> well, they could, but it's okay. It's nothing it's nothing bad, Jason. <laughs> Even even if they even even if that was the case, uh, it's completely out of context. I'm not like you know yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah yeah no absolutely like um. Yeah, like, I am very conscious about that, so like, whenever I do passwords, like, if I get kicked out of the game and I gotta re-log in, I immediately get rid of the keyboard. And also, I'm sure you guys probably can tell me, <laughs> I hope you guys would tell me, but I, I have always been successful at eliminating that. But yeah, no, I appreciate that, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm well aware that I'm obviously showcasing my keystrokes, but, uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Rage. Ah uh, yes, the 81 Rages. I 
appreciate you looking out for me, dude. It does mean a lot, so thanks for that. If I had times, I'd put to an in- oh, I would do that. And he borders? You know, I wonder if I'll ever get a new keyboard. I think this keyboard will last me a very long time. Forever. I can't imagine this keyboard being bad. Basically, for the other day, it was not too shot. <laughs> tomorrow! You're gonna see another Heaven on High fail. You can see one tomorrow. Um, it is the one where, if you watch the summoner, it is the one where um, I get obliterated by a gorilla. So I, I, I shield up on Summoner, no steal. We pull a Garula. I had like, what did I have like 12,000? No, yeah, I have like 11,800 HP, something like that. Or like four, or like 14, no, I think we had 14,000 or something like that. Uh, I shield up, so that's a 20% shield, okay? I pull the Garula, the Garula charges me, does 10,000 damage crit through the shield, and then auto attacks me right after and just kills me in like literally one GCD. That's tomorrow. Is it mechanical? My keyboard? Can you not hear my keyboard? Is it still amazing to see the camera control at the mouse? It's like, it's honestly, it's like fucking natural at this point. Um, like, if anytime someone asks, like, there was actually one point else. Someone goes and makes a comment, and he's like, Hey man, so I was watching your videos, and how do you get it where when you turn your character, your camera your camera goes with you? Is there a setting for that? And I'm like, my camera goes with me when I turn? What do you mean? And so I had to go into game, and then like, I didn't honestly, like, it doesn't click to me that when I, like, if, this is my right hand, this is the hand that does the camera control. If I move myself like this, I don't, like, my character doesn't move with me, right? The camera doesn't move at all. So like... What I'm doing is I'm just kind of naturally counter, counter count, counterbalancing my the location of my character with the way I move the camera. So if I turn like, actually I gotta kill this thing first. So if I turn like, you know, if I go to my left over here to the left side of this wall, I'm already moving my camera to adjust it. So I'm always like with my back facing, my back facing the direction, and it's become so natural that I don't even think about it anymore. But like, yeah, like when someone like starts to make a point like that, I actually have to like stop and think like... Oh yeah, I do that, don't I? Oh, whoops. Angry dinosaur. Do my volume low enough to sound like I'm talking to you normally? I don't hear it. Oh, that's a good thing then, okay. I actually appreciate that feedback. I thought it was like, just like fucking... Like going through. I know people hear the. I know people hear the clickety clack, because some people have actually said that they find it soothing and stuff. I didn't realize that that much. I know like my uh, my voice to music is definitely like my voice is certainly higher than the sounds in game, which is perfect. Um, the bard video I had to set up. I actually had to uh, edit out one of the songs because it triggered copyright, and I was actually impressed that. I played over um, the traditional Palace of Dead music over that section of the video, and you can actually still hear me talking. I'm like, oh, that okay. Well, I mean, if you really wanted to hear what I was saying, then yeah, I guess it works. But, but that was interesting. Almish could see you. It was fun to not hear during your controller run. Oh, it was funny not hearing it. It was odd not hearing it. It was odd having my my hands like you know, like just right at the side and just. Uh, just hitting, hitting buttons on the controller is very odd. That was the same thing with like near. Like I just like pushed like the, the my sliding desk. I had all the space like, 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 like where my legs were. I'm like, damn, dude. I could like sit cross legs on my chair. It's, it's incredible. I cannot sit cross legs on my chair with my keyboard out because the keyboard is a sliding desk. So it's like right, right over my lap. That's how I. By the way, when I was on my laptop, if if some of you guys didn't know, I used to stream on a laptop for like two years before I got the PC, and I had a lap desk. So my laptop would be on the table, and I had a lap desk on my lap, and that was where my control, my keyboard sat on, right on the lap desk. So I don't need to do that again. It's unnecessary. Controller is done. Was the laptop the reason for 8-bit? No. I wish it was. The reason for 8-bit is the connection, my internet. 
and you'll still see it because sometimes my internet actually before stream my internet was kind of going up and down but it's it's actually been pretty tame for about a week i have not called my isp either i just kind of just let it go um but it's been kind of okay If anything, like, I would say, so we got Twitch Partner when I had my PC. If anything, I probably couldn't have streamed in 1080. Um, that would be almost impossible on the laptop. My laptop couldn't take it. Um, like, like my laptop, when I, when I watched a stream in 1080, I couldn't watch a stream in 1080. That's how kind of the power of my laptop, like, look, that laptop was fantastic. It still works. I haven't opened it in, like, a while, though. But, um... But, um, it certainly had its limitations. Like, I was certainly pushing the limits when I was streaming. And here's, like, what was really funny. Like, this, the PC I have now, which, by the way, was big thanks to Twitch chat. Because I put a donation goal. It took a while. It took, like, eight months to do it. But that's okay. Time doesn't matter. I, we hit the goal on stream. Um, not on stream, but we hit the goal because of all the stream contributions and support and everything. Uh, when I was streaming on my laptop, my CPU would push, like, 20%. 30% when I had everything on. So I had a browser on, I had to have a browser on, um, and we had all the all the, all the assets and everything. My CPU was, was going at like 20-30%. So it was like, it was it was a lot of, of process to, to, to do that, and I really couldn't have anything open. Uh, otherwise, I would really start lagging in-game and everything. And then now, like, when I look at my CPU, we have a browser open, I have OBS open, I have the game almost at full capacity, um, and we have all the other stuff. My CPU is at, like, literally 2%. <laughs> CPU is just, like, sleeping on the job, because it's just like... Bruh, duh, yeah. Like, what are you doing? This is not really strenuous at all. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting for me. Um, but I do hit limits with streams sometimes, but I think it's more an OBS problem than it is, uh... Than it is a, uh... Yeah, I use GPU. I use NVEC. Was that 85? Wait, what were we on? 84. Music change. She likes it for GPU. My laptop, if I streamed CPU, it would be terrible. I couldn't survive, so it had to be GPU when I was my laptop. Was working with boss tonight and couldn't lurk. No problem. Hey, I'm glad you're still here. Um, how's Warrior feeling? Yeah, Warrior's feeling Warrior. Um, I'm. I was doing some multi pulls earlier. I'm. I'm pretty much aware that this. This. This will get slow soon. I've done this before, it's not really going to be any different than it was before. So it's just about getting through the forest right now. I, I was limit testing earlier. Um, You got a plan for Behemoth? I got a plan. Uh, I have not looked up anyone's videos intentionally because I kind of want to implement my own thing, learn it out. If it goes horribly bad or if we have to go back in, I'm probably going to start checking videos. Agni's, Agni's video I had just pinned on Discord. They did it on a free trial. Um, I could also look at pins and stuff, so... I see Almer, thanks for being here, man.
The amount of sprouts I see with Necro can only be shit. <laughs> I don't have the raw data on that. But it'll be nice, it'll be nice if that's the case. I mean, there have been a number of people who've tried it on a free trial, you know? That was such a fun thing to do. That was like, leave it to, leave it to me, right? Leave it to the way we do Deep Dungeon and stuff. The very first time they mentioned, oh, free trial is going up to Heaven's Ward. And the patch notes go, Palace of the Dead, you can now go up to 200. My first thought. Oh, so that means you can get Necromancer on a free trial. And then I create a free trial account, we go in, we get the clear. <laughs> it's like, it's like, of course I would do that. Why wouldn't I do that? And then now, look, Tridev is one of them. Jason is one of them. Agni is one of them. And I'm sure there's many, many more people. I, there is definitely many more people who've done it on a free trial, you know? And to me, it's just like... Deep, the, the base foundation of this content for me, ever since I first started doing videos and recording, when I was chasing for that Necromancer for the very first time, I had always believed that this challenge was something where it's like, you have to see it to believe it. Like, no joke. Like, I would wonder what kind of like reputation or what kind of feelings people would have if I'm walking around with the Necromancer title, with like literally no proof to show it except for a screenshot, you know? I wonder what the impression would be. I'm sure a lot of people would be like, damn, we got that sick title, blah blah blah. But right now, like not that I've ever gotten any bad bad comments or something like that, but we've I've essentially tried to make it so we don't leave room for anyone to kind of think like that. It's like here's the run. Every second, every minute of the run is right in front of you. Say what you want to say, and again, no one's really said anything bad about it, but you, but, but we've left no room for it, you know? And that was how the free trial also came into play. I can talk about how, hey, you can get a, you can get a Necromancer on a free trial, you know? But it felt to me like it had more meaning when I went and, go and did it myself. And it's like, there you go. We took a free trial, we created it, we cleared it. Guess what? You can do it on a free trial. Undisputed, undeniable, it's been done. You know, and I think for someone like who's looking at the challenge for the first time, that that kind of like proof alone might just be enough confidence for someone to try it, as opposed to just saying it's possible, right? Like logistically speaking, it should be possible. But that also goes in the line of the Astro Clears and the Black Mage Clears. There are videos out there that show you that it's been done. So now it's like, okay, yeah, Astro is ridiculously hard. It's so hard. Who would ever play Astro? But you can't deny the fact that it's been done. And there's visual proof that it's been done. So the argument is just there. It's just now it's like more like, oh yeah, that challenge is ridiculous. Who's crazy enough to do it? You know? EW Warrior can solo EW Dungeon Bosses. Yeah, we had uh, Leo in, in Discord. Uh, solo Smilington on, on Warrior. Just like straight up entered solo and just soloed it. <laughs> is EW Warrior as powerful as people say? I should start leveling Warrior. The healing is really nice. Um, there's certainly some places where I'm sure it has some weaknesses and whatnot, but um, you know, it's, it's healing is very, very good. And that is kind of what's carrying Warrior. Now, I have been hearing, and then you guys can step in and correct me again, you know, I'm ignorant when it comes to raiding. But I did hear that Warrior is kind of on the bottom tier for overall damage versus the other tanks. But hey, look, if Warrior can solo crap, and you can do things with this job that other tanks and other jobs can't do, I mean, that's kind of cool. I, I, don't, I don't invest myself in raiding, that's just not my thing, so uh, that doesn't bother me one bit. I don't care what damage it gives. It's just what its capabilities are. I mean, we soloed the, you know, Excitatron 6000 on Warrior. That was great. That was a lot of fun. That got a lot of people hyped. So. Um, you want me to show you Warrior Healing? Here, if you're gonna hang in for like, I'll show you Warrior Healing. In the next floor, Rainy. I'm gonna show you what, what Warrior can do. Alright, Rainy Days? And I'll show you why it's hyped. Better just to show you than to tell you. I can't wait for EW Deep Dungeon. 
Zard, I'm with you, dude. It's gonna be an insane, an insane experience. It's gonna be so hype. So many people are gonna be in into it. I can't wait. Dude, Tomahawk buff is just ridiculous, man. It is like... It is just like so broken. Before I found my YouTube, my PB was 160 and made it there twice. After watching two bits, my runs instantly improved to 180 minimum almost every time. I'm glad to hear that, that they've been helpful. Are you ready? Are you ready? Um, rainy days? I'll show you Warrior. Ooh, it's Chimera. Oh, I don't have sprints. Rip. Sorry, I'm gonna do what you know. Yo, look at that Tomahawk, dude. 8% on that Tomahawk. Ridiculous. I have a, I have a claw here. God damn it! Claw's gonna pull me in. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Haha, <laughs> claw. It's called a wall, dude. Warrior healing, right? There's your warrior healing. <laughs> There's your warrior healing right there. All the dragons are still alive. They're way more HP than anything. Okay. So that's that's uh, that's why Warrior is in a crazy spot right now. Because okay, Paladin can clemency back up, sure, but you're using GCDs. Uh, all of my healing are coming from damage. I hit one button, I go Benediction mode for three GCDs. You know. How do you get used to sticking? How do you get used to? How do you get used to sticking on walls in the run? Um, like just the idea of going wall, like basically hugging the walls all the time. C9. It's it's kind of a simple concept, at least how I see it. It's just if I don't do that, I'm going to step on a trap. And if I step on a trap, then I could potentially lose the run. So you're just hugging the wall to lower the chance of you stepping on traps. So that's all it is. Because basically you just tell yourself the risk of running down the middle is potential death. And it is. I mean, you step on a Lorien Trap, you can lose the run instantly, you know? So... Anyway, that's, that's Warrior in a nutshell. And then not to mention, like, as you saw, which, which was probably not as obvious, but we did raw intuition for the first pull, right at the big beginning when my HP is like way past under your half. But as those enemies pop back out, my raw intuition was back up. So we were able to heal back up again because the cooldown is 25 seconds. Uh, so not only is it an incredible heal, which it is, it's the fact that it's a 25 second cooldown. You know, it's a short cooldown. So as long as you can survive for, in essence, 20 seconds, uh, you can heal yourself indefinitely, you know? Yeah, you're gonna become a crazy person hugging the wall, C9. It's gonna become a habit. 
Like, you know what's also gonna become a habit? And this was the funniest story I heard from uh, raiders. For avid deep dungeon runners who then go into raiding, they instinctively started using super potions when they were low HP. And this was what some people were doing in like E12 prog. They would like get low HP and they would just start popping super potions. And what was hilarious was they were actually helping the team because they were surviving mechanics that if they didn't use the potions, they wouldn't have survived, you know? Like, just that little extra little extra HP. And that was just because you're just conditioned to, like, low HP pop a potion. And it's probably on your bard because, why? like, like for me, sustaining and, like, super potions are permanently on my bard. They will never leave my bard. They're just there forever. I make a space for them. They're always on 8, or for range class, they're always on 3 and, and on 3. Uh, on my, on my, on my hotbar. They will, they will always have a permanent spot, so like when I go into something like Eureka or uh, Aboja, well they, they I always have a spot in potions. Yeah, I'm lazy, let's go. For me, you hesitate opening chests now, yeah. Fearing an exploding chest. It's really funny how, honestly, like, I think a lot of people will will agree with me that aside from doing this challenge and getting something really hard done by yourself and all that stuff, I think you just do become a better player overall. I think you become a better gamer in this game because you do this because you do this challenge. You just learn like really interesting habits that do help you with the rest of the game. Like even like let's say you're a tank and like your entire party dies. I think even when you're in like a expert dungeon or something like maybe your your survival skills kick in. You're like, okay, what can I do to heal? How can I keep long like go longer? Like I learned how to do wall to wall pulls for dungeons in deep dungeon. Like what I just did earlier, you know, demonstrating raw intuition. Like that's something that I learned in here, and then it translated into a wall to wall uh, dungeon. But I became so comfortable with it by myself, rotating defenses, how to mid, how to heal myself. Like I'm I am not fearful for doing wall to wall, even if my healer is you know not the greatest. Like it'll be fine. I don't care. Tank is scary when I group when I group and solo I love tank. Honestly, like that's one reason that I elect to whenever I run expert now, I I don't even question it's just warrior. Because I feel like I can make up the difference. You know, if we have bad DPS, at least I can survive long enough. If my healer is learning, I can kind of help them out and be like, okay, yo, here's the big pull, at least you don't have to, you know, you don't have you don't have to worry about me dying because I'll stay alive. I'm, I'm the adapter. I like to adapt to situations. And that's actually one thing that I did learn uh, healing uh, in dungeons. Having um, the variety of tanks that you run with. Um, it's like... I don't blame my tank for any type of skill level they are. At least that's not how I see it. I've had, I had a Dark Knight one time in an expert dungeon who I let, I didn't let them die, but they died on my watch, and I was trying. And I felt really bad, but I didn't talk it over, I didn't say anything, I was just like, I didn't say anything, I just raised them, continued. But what I found out, what I tried to do is I tried to understand what my tank was doing, like, okay, was he just not mitigating? 
was he just uh, learning, you know, like like I always just chalk it up to learning, like maybe I can say something, you know, like hey maybe you can try this or something like that. No, you know what he was doing? He was he was front loading all these defenses. So he like basically used all the defenses on the beginning of the pool. And towards the end of the pool, he had nothing left. So all of his defenses were down. But I was healing in a way where I was front loading my heals, which is usually what I do. So what did I do? I just adjusted. I basically just like, you know, didn't really heal that much in the beginning and then heavy healed later and then boom, it's fine. Um and I had that happen actually in another run with a paladin. A paladin I had would basically pull and open with with hollowed, you know, and then front load all the defenses. And so I had to, and I remembered my previous experience with Dark Knight. I'm like, okay, let's adjust how I'm healing so that it doesn't get spicy towards the end. At least that's how I do. Um, but I'm, but I always do that with gamers and stuff. Like I, <clears throat> I try to cover up. Uh, I, ch I like to do that. I find that as a challenge. I like to cover up what the weakness is in the party, you know? Who's like the weak link? And it's not that you call them out, it's like you just... You just kind of make up for it, right? Um... And I kind of find that entertaining in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like having the, the, the literal self-sustain where like, you just kind of patch up and bandage any, any, uh, any kind of, you know potential issues happening. You do that instinctually. I just find that it's, a, it's just a fun challenge, you know? I know that's not the way a lot of people think, or that's not a way a lot of people play the game. A lot of people are very regimented, like, no, it's gotta be this way, you know, you gotta play this way. Which I hate, by the way. That's, that's like, that's like, goes into, like, why I hate metas and why I hate tier lists and stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I just care if you get the win. We're there, we won, great. You don't gotta sweat the details, man. You got the win, who cares? <laughs> Imagine having fun in this game. <clears throat> Imagine having fun gaming, you know? I think some people get stuck in that. That it's like, it has to be done this way. They're not open-minded. And maybe this is one reason why I am in love with this content. Because this content allows me to... This is already different. I'm already doing something different than everyone else, so... You know? Mr. Wallen Gaming. With the... With the raid! If we can get a shout-out for Wallen Gaming, I would really, really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'll be gonna get you, my good friend. How is stream? What's up, dude? Thank you for being your community over. What are we up to? Hey, thanks for shout-out, Wallen. Wallen is our good friend in here. Always in stream. Always here. Always excited to talk to you guys, so definitely talk to him in his stream if you wanna if you wanna interact with him and see see how he does his thing on on there and definitely check him out. How's 14? I guess you were doing V clears potentially. Sounds like fun. Doing some panda V clears, awesome. So what was the goal today? Did we what was the goal and did we hit the goal? Hey, yo, Niche. I appreciate you being here. I'm glad you were able to catch the stream. I hope I catch you next time, but if not, you know what? I know you've been commenting on YouTube. You can always talk there. Hey, also, Niche, before you kind of head out, uh, we do have a Discord if you do want to join in. Also, a really great way to connect with a lot of people in chat and myself, too. So uh, definitely, if you, if you use Discord or if you're okay with using Discord, it's there. But no worries. If not, not a big deal. Uh, my friends decided all to switch different roles, so that's what we normally do. That sounds interesting. Okay, I like that concept. Cool, 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 cool. You know, that would, you know, if I were a raider, Wallen, you know, that would fit my, that would fit my playstyle. Because I hop around jobs so much, right? So I would totally be game for that. Just to try other jobs, just to see how they feel. And also it gives you such a good understanding of the game mode, right? 
think like it gets you to understand the fights so much better when you understand all of the perspectives. Um, which is also something I do like to do. I like to understand the different perspectives. I find that interesting. We were just talking about, um, before you copped in here, we were just talking about kind of, uh, you know, ways people play the game and how sometimes you're adaptive and other times some people aren't adaptive and I, I prefer to be someone who's adaptive with gaming. I like to, um, you know, if someone is not, you know, the negative way of saying it is if someone isn't pulling their weight, you know, you don't call them out, you, 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 you pull more weight, you know, that's how I like to view it. Okay, I'll just do a little bit more to compensate for, you know, the people that aren't doing as great. Not a big deal. They're probably learning, they're probably still figuring things out, you know, you don't know what's going on with them. You know, you don't just all of a sudden just like call them out for being a bad gamer. Which people do, by the way. No, you just like make up for them. Maybe they're, maybe they're up for advice. Maybe they're just learning. That's how I look at it. Trying to get more people to do tanking and healing that aren't used to it. It's a good experience, I think. Actually, let me take a small break. Let me re -up let me update the title, but let me take a small break. I'm gonna hit the restroom, and we'll continue the run. Guys, thank you for being here. We're going at a pretty good pace. Actually, what we got three floors left, so we're looking at maybe finishing at about two thirty ish. Look, we were going fast earlier, but we've definitely kind of gone slower, like during the later, but this is what Warrior is going to give you. It's just going to go a little bit slower, but at least I'm not dying. Um, but yeah, we got about maybe about an hour and a half left on stream. We're stopping at 120 today. That's always my goal. And then Thursday, we continue the file. So, so far, so good. Appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully, you're enjoying the stream. Uh, thank you for all the raids so far, but I shall be right back. I'll hit the restroom and we will continue. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, let me just refill my water, we shall continue. Uh, Ethereal said, when I tank, I do a trust pull aka group one group at a time, then healer's like, oh no, first time tank goes and pulls other group, it's actually a nice way to renew. Yeah, like... I have run into times when you get a really over-ambitious healer or someone that 
maybe had had a previous experience where the tank wasn't pulling fast, so like they take the liberty of doing it for them. I have definitely had that happen once in a while. Um, but like, if I'm on Warrior, dude, I'm just gonna big pull, period. <laughs> like for me, I would take the I would take it where like okay, if the healer couldn't handle the big pull, then I would go less, and it's not a big deal. I'd be like. Hey man, do you want to go less? Like, here's how I would do it. I do the big pull, we die, then I go, um, everything okay? Did you want to try that again? Or do you want to go small pulls, you know? You just, you just pose it like that, it's all good, not a big deal. Um, when I'm on tank. Uh, I definitely have had maybe one time on healer where I think I kind of let down the tank. I think that was the Dark Knight. And, um, I think that that time when I let the Dark, dark Knight die. And I was just like, hey man, do exactly what you did. Don't worry about it, uh, we can do this, you know, I'm just like, we got it. So you just kind of communicate that way. <laughs> hey, I don't say it like that, okay? I just queue in and then I just run and pull everything. You know, I'm I feel like I'm kind of bad because I don't say hello and and when I do the thing. Also, uh Daike Ryu, hello, good to see you. Um Yeah, I don't say hello in, in any dungeons. I just kind of go in and I th I say thank you at the end, but I don't say hello. I just kind of just do my thing. <laughs> I started playing 14 a few months ago and have swapped mains for every expansion, but it's always been DPS. Now Paladin also has Paladin also has a P1N clear. There for all the tanks. Where's the Dark Knight clear? Where's the gun break clear? Where's the everything clear? Can I hit it please? Okay, thank you. Someone like new to healer goes easy on me and replies. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm so like I said, I'm I'm the I'm a I'm such an adapter. I, I adapt to whatever situation, you know. Actually, there was this one time I remember this distinctly, and I thought it was a really good it was a really good thing. Um, like it was a it was a better way to do this than uh just being like the champion and just show, showing off. We did a uh, dead end for the main story 90 dungeon and everyone was rusty i was fine but like the rest of the team was rusty i think we had a new DP we had one new dps the healer was rusty and so we go to the first boss and like everyone gets hit with the with the with the the doom thing except i'm fine i didn't get hit and then he didn't know he had to Asuna, he forgot like everyone dies right i could have very well soloed the whole thing but what I, what I did instead, I'm like, when the guys came back, I'm like, okay, here's the mechanics. You gotta Asuna this thing, then you like stand over here, then it's a thing that you go together, the Rito marker, and then all this, this, and that, and that, and then I intentionally died. Because like, we died at like the first mechanic, I was gonna be there for like 15 minutes. So I just intentionally died, and then I thought it was more of a better way of basically giving them the lesson. So then now they can do the fight over, and then actually have the mechanics, and we did it just fine the second time. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because of my attitude with this content and how I always want to help all you guys to try to get this thing and everything. Um, it's, it's kind of ingrained for me to just be patient with people, you know? That's all I kind of go for. And like, I hear all these like horror stories about DF and everything and I get it. But like, I don't know, all of my experts so far have been fine. They've been remarkably fine. But it probably does contribute to the fact that I'm Let's go to heal before. Ron Tuition. Ron Tuition is now in Nessus Flash.
it's better than, oh, it's, yeah, it's just, it's way better than Black, isn't it? Uh, did I use the fortune not pick it up? I did use the fortune not pick it up. a good website to look at. Let me let me get it. Let me get it available for you to check it out. Uh, this is the best site. If you want to check abilities, that site. It's their it's the official job guide site for the game. And they use that and they updated with the patch stuff. It's it's actually the best you should honestly use because they also tell you comparisons. They will be like, hey this thing was this, and now it's this. You know, like they actually tell you what it was before into what it's now. So that is honestly the best website you should use for that, if you want to look at a job ability. It is actually it's it's actually very good for mobile too. If you if you look at it on mobile, it's actually really good. So great site. Like the range tag in dungeon. Um, it depends on the gamer. Uh, it really depends on the gamer. Uh, Dehi. Here's here's why. Um, if you know how every single thing aggroes in here, every single enemy, you know this is sound, this is sight, this is proximity. That's tremendous knowledge for monk because you know how to pull them. You just get close enough, you walk in front of them, you get the pull. If you don't have that knowledge. If that knowledge is like not as not as strong, or you like you always have to look up stuff, monk becomes exponentially harder because it's like, well, I don't know if this thing is sight, I don't know if this thing is proximity. So you don't know if you have to dive into the middle of the room to aggro it or maybe just wait for it to get to the edge, you know what I mean? So knowledge is power in monk for sure. Now, no matter how you slice it, it is kind of annoying that you have to basically run up and punch something. Like that is annoying no matter how you look at it. Um, but at least back in Shadowbringers, and really current Monk, if you will, um, you just deal with it. That is just part of what Monk is, and you just deal with it, you know? So, it kind of is kind of a personal thing. Do you find it annoying? I don't find it that annoying. I deal with it. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. It's just part of the kit. So on so forth. Yeah, I think on, the, on paper, a lot of people will probably find it extremely annoying. Which is fair. Like it, 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 it sounds tedious. You have to run the risk of getting into a trap, you know. But when you kind of just settle that that is just what warrior is. I'm sorry, that's what monk is. Then you know. Oh. Change the monk main expansion. Was wondering how we will do deep dungeon. Here's what I'll say about monk and deep dungeon. Uh, if you like the job right now, Deki, I think you'll be you'll be fine as long as you understand that you know you, you have the challenge of the monk, the pulls and everything. It's a strong job. If you like the way place the playstyle of monk, I think you'll be fine in here. Um, I do have videos up on YouTube uh, if you ever want to check them out. I did do both uh, palace and I think both palace yeah both palace and. Uh, and Heaven on High are up there. I cleared Heaven on High, I got to 193 in Palace. Um, but if you like the playstyle in Monk, it's gonna be... Uh, you know, it, it might work out for you, basically. But it's still a very challenging job. Very challenging job. Um, but, you know, you can watch it, see the runs, kind of see how you feel with it, and see if that might be up your alley if you want to give it a shot. 
did actually pop back for his man, he does. So it's like... What's chest is this? I forgot. Oh, steel. I never checked that chest. So we got whaled by Behemoth. Well, tank, tank, tank Behemoth is a journey, and you know we are on tank, so I'm certainly prepared for said journey. But I'm ready for this. Trinkly before EW. Hey, it's all good, man. The challenge is basically the same, so you know you're not gonna. It's certainly not gonna feel bad if you if you didn't clear it then. Uh, if you didn't clear it by then, the challenge is basically the same. Damn, Cyrodiil. Are you all speaking English over there? <laughs> but uh, here's one thing that I will say, De uh, Dehi, and this is a personal subjective thing. Like I said, do you enjoy Monk? you might have a good time with it. I was like a huge fan of Shadowbringer Monk. Loved Shadowbringer Monk. I do not like Monk right now. At all, in Endwalker. Um, and with that being said, even though it, it is a different job basically, you know, it functions very differently than it did in Shadowbringer, you were still able to get the clear. You know, it, its capabilities are still capable. That just hasn't changed. Um, but I, I do kind of put a big point on enjoyment of the job. And especially when you're hunting your first clear, if you just thoroughly enjoy your job, I think your chances are better for clearing. It just is. You know, if you have to like if you're if you're if you're someone, Ryu, who understands the fact that Machinist is the fan favorite, you know, Red Mage is the favorite too, but you just despise those jobs, you hate those jobs, you don't like the way they play, you don't like the kiting. I mean, maybe you're gonna have a better chance on a Paladin or a Monk because you actually enjoy those jobs, you know? Like, forcing your way through a job that you just can't stand playing, I don't think you're just gonna enjoy the experience, and you might even just quit the experience because you're not having fun. So it's definitely way more beneficial for you to try a job that you're actually having fun with. There are gonna be certain debates about, you know, oh, this job is just better toolkit, blah blah, but you can't make an assumption that someone's gonna play it the same way as you are. It's just that's literally that's literally impossible. <laughs> it's literally impossible. You more of a melee guy? You know what's actually really good for melee? So here's my tier list, if you will, my subjective tier list, Deki, for melee. And again, I always stress the subjective because people will disagree and whatnot. I would put Reaper at top of the list, followed by Ninja, and then Monk and Samurai are like tied for like you know next place, and then Dragoon. But the thing is, that was kind of that was kind of how I would put it for like. Shadowbringers. I don't know how Dragoon is, and right now, actually, I would put Monk in bottom tier, but not because it's not it's not a bad job. I think it's fully capable. It's actually really good on bosses. It's actually one of the best jobs for bosses. Um, it's because I just don't enjoy that job, period. So that's just gonna be bottom of the list for me, no matter how I look at it. Um, but the melees do really well. I mean, the tanks are really well, too. Samurai has so many abilities, can't figure out the comfortable layout of the controller. I can't help you with that one. I don't play on controllers, I can't help. Which CPS presses the fewest buttons to patch? At like 90? I don't know. I don't, chat will have to help you with that one. I don't know. I mean, I can tell you, Reaper in 60-70 content, you definitely have a very, a very naked hotbar. I was actually kind of like shocked at how many like empty spots that my hotbar had for Reaper, because it was really a job meant for like 80-90. Um, but for like the 60-70 kit, like you just didn't have much at all. But it was still a very strong job.
It does, Siridan. I I am currently at 82 Reaper, and it is very busy. And it's actually kind of fun. Like, I'm actually really enjoying that job. But it is a very, very busy job. Absolutely. No, because you, you also hit Paradox, okay? It's Melee Machinist. Yeah, that's like, yeah. Yeah. Be nice if there was a keybind guide, I always stop myself trying to figure out myself. Ah, but a keyboard keybind guide, dude, that that's still also subjective, man. I mean you could follow my keybinds, but what if your hands don't even function like that, you know? I mean people people do very interesting keybinds that I'm not even gonna bother trying to understand what everyone else does. Like that if that works for you, if that's how you press your buttons, then who cares? You have to understand like how you're pressing your keyboard or mouse and then and then base about that one. Um, that's- that's totally a you thing, you know? I mean, if you try to bind your stuff like I do, I don't know if you're gonna survive. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna survive if you bind my- if you bind like me. I changed the song too fast, but it's okay. I like Dark and Dancer had a baby and we raised by Dragoon. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. And also what Cleric Ma Max said, that is actually what I did for Sage big time. Um, as we were going through Palace of Dead Sage, uh, I would, like, basically just start putting buttons in as we were going along and leveling. I would hit them a couple times, and I'm like, no, this button's kind of like, this needs to be here. But, maybe this helps you, is I do have very specific types of buttons in very specific spots on my, on my thing. So for instance, my sprint is always in the same spot, my potions always in the same spot, my 1-2-3 GCDs, and then if there's a secondary combo, like let's take Gunbreaker, let's take Monk, they will always be in the top. So I always have 1-2-3 GCD, and I have Alt 1-2-3 GCD. And then a lot of my crowd control is on my right hand, so it's like 0, 9, and 8. It was usually almost all of my crowd control. And then down the middle are like my not-so-often press buttons, you know? If I'm not pressing it as often, they're there, so my buff, Berserk, some other buffs, you know? Po uh, my invulm is in a place where I have to consciously think about it, although I don't want to accidentally hit it. So a lot of those like kind of buttons are in very specific spots for every job. Uh, so for instance, all my all my crowd control, my stun is always in the same button for every single job. My heals, when I do have when I have to have healer, all the basic heals are all in the same same stuff. And so that gives you a standardized kind of layout, if you will. And then you kind of just fill in the, the rest of the buttons as they flow along. I think it helps to have that base, if you will, foundation when you start up. That it's just okay. That's a CC. It always goes here. That's a that's a this one. It always goes here. And then you you just fill in the rest of the blank. Yeah, my AOE is always on like shift four, shift five. So they're always there every time. Even if like even for Sage, you know, they're still on the shift button because that's just where I like to keep. It. Hell yeah, dude! You went on a warrior, we're moving kinda fast. Welcome back, Shinobi. Force me to use your legs if I'm melee in different spot. Oh, I well, I mean I'm on a controller, right? So I'm on keyboard. I didn't have that problem. Actually, samurai buttons. Well, 90 like 80 plus samurai was proving interesting, but I'm only at 81. But I was fine with samurai at least currently. 
I kind of figured it out. It was actually a little bit hard at, at 80 in Shadowbringers, like of where to put things, but I think you were about. Yeah, it was a little bit hard, 80. Well, Blizzard 1 is probably the only one that's partially the most useless, although you need it back on the bar because of Paradox, which is useful. Um, but I mean, all the buttons on Black Mage are kind of... Yeah, I would say Black Mage just have a lot of buttons, though, for a specific situation. I remember Blizzard 1 being the one that always kind of was annoying, because... Like, whether I kept it on my bar or not. I think this thing is gonna aggro me. Well, I mean, shot me, so quick's gonna aggro me. We were here for a long time. Good song. Nice FF11 classic. Uh, nice. Polygods happen over time. <laughs> Black Mage still confuses you, doesn't he? Doesn't Ethereal? Hey, like, Black Mage is not meant for everyone, man. It really isn't. There's people who, like, literally just can't play Black Mage, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, it's a rather particular job, for sure. Um, yeah, it's going a little low, JC, and it, it dipped down to 3,000 just now. But not too bad. It probably just pick up a little bit. The moment you said it, Jason, actually my bid rate was actually okay until you said something. Welcome to my ISP. Shoy was talking about the 8-bit on my laptop, man. No, it's a... Uh, it's my connection. They're like, uh, I don't know what they are. I use the simplified Black Mage thing, so they're like diamonds to me. Quick question, finally decided to climb POTD today. Hello, Joe Ross. Uh, had to stop after the 90 boss because of lag spikes. When do you start worrying about mob type, mag aggro type? Also, General Redmi says, hello. Um, honestly, 91 is really when things do get hard. So like here, I try to be careful not to double aggro, even though I did just double aggro. Um, general tips about Red Mage. Honestly, one of the big things that helped me on Red Mage was understanding when to Vir Cure. So you definitely don't want to Vir Cure under 50%. So if your HP dips under 50, you do not want to be caught Vir Curing, because you might get interrupted and then you might die. So optimizing Vir Cure is really a huge thing on Red Mage. But um, honestly, it's just, you know, just Red Mage just do a lot of damage and uh, move quick. I don't, know, I don't know what to say about Red Mage. Red Mage, Red Mage in, like, is kind of like... Healing optimization, that's the best way to kind of explain that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true, the AoE rotation on Samurai is fascinating. That is a fact. Like, I hit the button, I hit like the wrong button all the time. At 90? Yeah, I'm not there yet. So I just imagine. 
Oh, hi. There we go. We properly set up a triple fail cleave in Berserk. Nailed it. dragons are meaty as hell. These dragons feel like they're over-tuned. Like, they are so, like, meaty. And they hit hard, too. And then, by the way, this is where warriors start to re- like, I, I said this. Warriors gonna start to slow down, this is where it's gonna slow down. The run will start to get slower here. Oh, there you go, Ethereal. Do your damn quest! Uh, okay. Am I lazy and do I just do a sight? I'm feeling lazy. Oh, I'm real lazy. There's like multiple rooms going in that direction. I'm just gonna use that. Super lazy right now. I didn't realize the eggs was over here. I would have killed the Gormon instead. God damn it. My my JCN, my internet hiccup so hard that it stopped my uh my goddamn TV cut out. How bad it was. Oh, no, it's actually bad. Target, please. Nice miss. Great. making the most out of your XP. Now you don't have to worry about uh, being behind on XP. Okay, it's not here. Oh, I didn't hit the comp. God damn it. I missed my fail cleave, fantastic. I love when I miss fail cleave. It's so satisfying. Damn, that's the exit. I'm gonna travel through the room. Fail cleave, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Excuse me, dragon. Knight, I guess you're coming with me. Let me use my OP Tomahawk. My my newly buffed Tomahawk that's going to do ridiculous amounts of damage. 
Look at that dude, it's like literally almost dead now. I threw like five Tomahawks. Uh, I think that Night Aggro's. Nope. Hooray! Does I may still have her skill slip swap? They change, right? I don't remember what Dragon Age does. I think it just changes over. Oh, I shouldn't have pulled this shit. Really? And there's another one? Are you kidding me right now? I'm gonna overkill and I'm not gonna like it. Perry! Hey Perry! Thanks for the 8 months and continued streaking in the too. Oh slash. Oh slash. Okay, thanks for the continued support Perry. I hope you're doing well. Appreciate it. I gotta pull a couple here which really sucks. Oh, I gotta pull a lot here which really sucks. I'm gonna strength and steal. Oh, I see a wallet. Hey wallet, thanks for the raid. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night and I shall catch you next time my friend. Yeah, run's going pretty well. It's going as well as I think Warrior can go. Um, it's gonna just start to get slower, which it is what it is, but, um, you know, we're making the most of it. Damn it, really? I oh, may as well build gauge, I guess, on the dragon. So I can have it for the boss. Nice miss. Oh my god. They don't want me to leave. And I missed my fail play, great. Fantastic. Alright, let's go. Finally, we can go to the boss. They did screw up the downscaling. It's annoying. It is what it is. Let me get the full gauge here. Play around with what warrior can pull off, yeah? Two... Three... Four... No, only time you're gonna see a adjustment to deep dungeon is when they add in the new one, probably. This is set in stone until then. Pretty much.
OP, warrior OP. Um, the scaling is weird, try to have. And so what it feels like is the enemies hit you a little bit harder, and they take longer to die. And what's really odd is that once you step into like... Once you step into like 141, it really feels like it just got better. Not, not easier, but everything just kind of feels like normal. Hello Angelus, good luck tonight. Lava button! Hey man, thanks. I'll take the good luck. This should be a pretty clean run, but... You know, we're on Warrior, we're OP. We got so many heals, it's just getting through it pretty much. But hey, thanks man, thanks for the 8 months. Damn, there's a lot of these long-term resubs. I really appreciate you guys continuing to support the stream. Over that long period of time, it really means a ton, so I'm glad you guys enjoy the content. Hey, look, definitely, look, and what's really crazy, this is what's really crazy about this, guys. I mean, we're, we're doing six-year-old, four-year-old content on stream. Like, this is old shit. <laughs> like, this shit's old, guys. But we're on, like, pre-game, right? This is pre-game until the main event, when the next Deep Dungeon rolls around, then what, that's gonna give me another six years or something? Something like that? Like... It's gonna be insane when the next Deep Dungeon rolls around. But for you guys to can, kinda continue to like the content and all that stuff, we're prepping for the new stuff. Uh, so you're definitely gonna be in store for a lot of fun... Fun, uh, fun showcases and shows and streams. Um, oh god, I can't wait, dude. I don't even care what they're gonna give us at this point. They just gotta give it to us. 2016. Six years ago. Well, I guess that's more like five years ago, but yeah. Five, five, four, three years ago. Nutty. Nutty. And this is still, this is what's the craziest thing. People are still discovering this content. Like, I don't think people are discovering Savage, you know? Like, Savage is like, okay, well, here it is. This is the main content. If anything, if people don't know what Savage is, it's probably because you're just not at that level. So, like, this content has just been sitting here forever. And people don't know it exists. And people are slowly understanding that it exists. And that's what's really cool about it, you know? So, for a lot of people, this is new. I've heard of- I've heard of a number of people already literally buying the game just to do this content at this point. They got the game, they jump right into Deep Dungeon Solo. Like, it's... That's just crazy. Also, guys, by the way, I had zero astronomy and I have 155 right now. <laughs> we are farming astronomy in Deep Dungeon. Have I heard of ever- have I heard- have I ever heard of someone using a hack in Deep Dungeons? There was a hack... There was definitely a glitch that some people uh, took advantage of in other content, which I imagine would carry over into this content, but I haven't really heard of direct people using it. Um, at least like clears on the boards and whatnot, I haven't really seen it, so... I also don't kind of look for it, um, so if it happens I just don't know. So. Until a week before you W? Yeah! I mean, I mean, a vast majority of people look at Deep Dungeon, and all they think about is 51 to 60 Palace, 21 to 30 Heaven on High, and they're like, yeah, that shit's boring. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> like, like, and I don't blame you guys. I don't get, I don't blame people for thinking like that. Like, that is what most guides and most people will tell you. Hey, how do I level 1 to 60? Oh, just do Palace of the Dead, you know? 51 to 60, forever. And then you get bored of it. Because it is boring. Like, honestly, that section is boring. Like, it's just not great. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. And then once you have that experience... You know, you don't think about going back in here. Like, you're, like, done with the content. Like, why would you go back here, right? Until you realize the challenge is here. Until you realize there's this, there's this title. You know, first, in the very beginning, I would say, like, a lot of people who engage with this content were achievement hunters. People wanted achievements, and they run into this achievement, Necromancer solo with, you know, 1 to 200. It's like, oh. And that's how they start engaging with it. But now it's just like, 
a lot of a lot of just word of mouth. That if you want to solo, go to this content, you know? Check it out, watch the videos. It's, it's really been a lot of word of mouth at this point, but I think it's fantastic. So people are slowly, more and more people are discovering it. And when the next Deep Dungeon rolls around, they're gonna talk about the solo, you know? There's gonna be a title. There's guaranteed gonna be a title at the very least. Whether they do anything else with that is questionable, but there will be a title. People are gonna know you can solo it. And we'll see what happens. And then when people know you can solo that new Deep Dungeon because of the patch notes, they're gonna probably look back into the old ones, you know? Have you really exploited? Uh, yes, I did. Agni, I, I did know about that one. I never saw it myself, but I did hear about people doing it in... I heard about people doing it in PvP. They would do like a strength commander, and they would use it in PvP. That got, that got fixed real fast, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> he showed it? Oh god. That's why the thing is still there. I'm surprised the thing is still there. Well, it was like Palace, so I think Heaven on High didn't exist at the time. And I think what happened is like you walk in with it, not use it on the spot. Like, you wouldn't go into a duty and use it, it's that you would use it... It's like you would use it in, like, Deep Dungeon, and then you would take it out and it wouldn't, like, dispel or something. Yeah, I know. It'd be wishful thinking. But I'd like to think, 34, that... You know, that, that Yoshi P and the devs... Understand that this content, this solo content, that people are, like... Like, big into this. Like, there may not be a lot of them, but man... Here's, here's something that, that is a perspective I always want to point out, and I always want to just say. When Heaven on High released, Heaven on High was like a huge quality of life to Palace of the Dead. There was a lot of things they put in there that I felt like, wow, like it certainly was an improvement to Palace of the Dead. But back when Heaven on High released, there were literally two or three necromancers in the entire world, period. That's it. So I think the idea of like a solo community or people wanting to do the solo challenge was very limited. Maybe they weren't even thinking about potentially someone doing it on all the jobs. But now you're approaching a new deep dungeon where there's gonna be probably by that time like a thousand people plus who have gotten the title, you know? On each of them. And every job has cleared. Like that's a huge difference from three people to like literally 2,000 plus people, unique players who have one or the other title, or both. So you'd want to think that they're going to really take care of how the solo experience is going to be, you know? That they're going to do it for that, that kind of subset of the community. I mean heck, you had, you had people, obviously Zeppla, Asmin, who were talking about it. When, when Asmin and that Rich did their interview, they directly asked him about titles like the Necromancer to Yoshi P. And you think like the biggest MMO streamer, when they talk about it, they're not gonna pay attention to it, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna obviously like look into it at the very least. So that helps tremendously. So it's really going to be interesting to see what happens when that time comes. February! Guys, look at February. They said look for the first live letter after Endwalker. I believe the first live letter is going to be the one at the end of February. But that's going to be a massive one because they're going to make announcements. They're going to talk about, uh, you know, like they're going to dump a lot of information on us. And I imagine Deep Dungeon will show up there. So certainly look forward to that. I'm going to be definitely having my eyes glued for that. Uh, certainly gonna make any posts on Twitter concerning it, so look look forward to that. But I'm looking forward to big time. Yeah, because they did say that they're going to dump a lot of information, like they're gonna talk about a lot of things, they're gonna make a lot of announcements. It's gonna be huge. And dated back to those interviews that the media tour had, they said look forward to the first live letter. Concerning Deep Dungeon, like this wasn't just a general statement. This was in in relation to someone to 
one of the content creators asking about Deep Dungeon, and they're like, hey, wait for the first live letter, and we'll let you know more about it. They probably will- it depends on how they do the story. I mean, now that you had the skip in the expansion, it depends on what they decide to do. I mean, they could require you to do Heaven on High. Like, Heaven on High requires Palace of the Dead, and it kind of continues that line, but... You know, we'll see. It is a deep dungeon, so probably would require you clearing uh, Floor 30 for Heaven on High. Oh, he's in getting disconnects? How close has he gotten? I've been kind of trying to keep track of him. Because, man, I'm cheering on for him big time. But how close has he gotten? Well, he did kind of say that they might do Savage Deep Dungeon. I thought he got to 190. Didn't he get to 190 at least one time? I think he got to 190 at least once. Which was one reason why I wanted to do Ninja. Oh, was it 189? I thought he got to 190. Because he did want to... He, he actually requested that I go on Ninja one time, and I did. But I felt bad because I died at like 187 to, to greed, essentially. But I never got to 190. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought, because he wanted to see 190 live. And I felt so bad because I actually didn't get to 190 on Ninja. I died like 187. I was so pissed because I just made a wrong decision. It was all on me why I died. It sucks. And I was doing it because, yes, and I was like, damn, dude, fuck me. If anything, one possibility might be high difficult for us, but be safe to, 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 to... Yeah. Oh, you mean like the... Oh, you're taking that slightly out of context. Jason. Because before that, they were talking about... Uh, like, the way he posed it right there, that's out of context. Because the context of that conversation was that they were... was Frosty asked about... Uh, low man savage, four man savage, and what they were thinking was that they were still gonna avoid doing specific savage four man content, but instead that they would put it into deep dungeon as like a further mode. So like on top, so so basically the way I interpret it is that first of all, first of all, there's al it's already like kind of set up that we're getting a new deep dungeon. In essence, because they, because you know, Hap, Happy said that they've already picked an area, like they have a, a whole new area that they're gonna that they're gonna utilize for the next deep dungeon. So like, that's pretty much cl as close as to a confirmation as you're gonna get that it's going to be a new one. But I think on top of that, there's a potential that you might see a savage deep dungeon where you take palace and you take heaven on high, and you make it a further challenge with like additional floors, or you just literally just make it harder. Yeah, and so like, so that part of the conversation went into the fact that they might like add on to, they might add on to the current deep dungeon to make it more like a savage tier ish, which would be fantastic. Or utilize deep dungeon. Or the other way you could look at it is that the next deep dungeon coming out has the feature like lava button put out that you had the regular group, you had the regular solo, and then you had this further mode that's even harder. You know, whatever restriction that might be. I mean, one thing that I think would be fantastic, uh, Lava Button, maybe a way to, you know, kind of add in a tiny bit of difficulty. You put it in, like, like, BA and Delubrium, where raising is restricted. You know, maybe you have Phoenix Downs, but you restrict raising, so you can't really sack people, you have to make sure everyone stays alive the whole time. And imagine, imagine, like, what happens there, it's like, you know, if the person dies and that's it, 
you have to release them and then you can continue the file, but you're down like, you know, you're down to three people, <laughs> you know? Because the other person died out. That would be crazy, but that would be kind of interesting. No, Loneliest Hero. I want Loneliest Hero. If they give me Loneliest Hero, I'm changing that over Necromancer. I'll take that title over Necromancer. Give me Loneliest Hero. Uh, what is this? Oh, sorry. Ah uh, yes, warrior being slow. Maybe I should start working on pulling multiple at this time. I said I wanted to pull three or more. We should start practicing that, huh? Well, I didn't want to... Well, I'm not going to do it here. I didn't want to do it with Yarzon, because Yarzon's going to give me a... Uh, going to give me a... Golem down. What's up, Megapon? How you doing, dude? POTD is nerve-wracking. Yeah, I mean, occasionally my heart act my heart rate actually goes up in this place. Occasionally, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. Yeah, I mean, there's still the dream of having job job specific achievements, which I still wish would happen. I really want job specific for titles for soloing. Great. I don't have abilities, people. Uh, this is a part of Warrior that I don't like right now. Yeah, except if you start running out of time, then I have to worry about it. Hi Master! Got 89 Warrior, have a nice solo, had some really bad luck, so we timed out. Oh. That's really good prog. Too bad you didn't get to see Onra, but that's really good. 89 is really freaking good. So congratulations on that one. Hey, just the next time you go in, you'll be even better. Classic JRPG in the bank. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Especially if you're pulling Enko and Ryujin, they're I avoid them as much as possible. Manticore even kind of gets a little spooky. Um, but the Ryujin and Co are really bad. You do see a lot of them sometimes. Yep. Hey, our buddy Bowie got to 99 today. I don't know if you guys watched the stream earlier. Um, or saw his post on Discord, but he got to 99, man. He is right there. I'm so proud of him. And Dark Knight. He's been progging for so long. So that's what it is, Master. You prog, you prog, you prog, you're going to chip away at that challenge. At some point, you're gonna you're gonna get it. Either you get the god tier run, or you just play like a... You either get the god tier run, or you play like a god. And everything just works out. Yeah, and that's why um, I think I'm really gonna be considering the time management video on Sunday. We'll return to Warrior once more. And we'll probably do a time management. Peak. Hey, Days, thanks, man. Yo, Days, thanks for the 13 months, man. I really appreciate the continued support. Huge, huge thank you for that, man. One year plus. Well, I can't believe it's been one year plus since I met you. Holy shit. I'm thinking about doing time management on Sunday. I think it'll be useful to a lot of you guys. Um, like, you know, we just did the live tutorial on Sunday. We talk about different strategies, how to go through, how the enemies do, and all that stuff. But time management is a different kind of conversation. 
And I think that will be hugely beneficial. I know a lot of people reference that video that I did both for Machinist and Warrior in um, Shadowbringers. And I think it'll be great because we've also like really modified the strategy nowadays. Um, the strategy is actually slightly different than what we did in Shadowbringers so that video came out. I think it'll be really useful to everyone. It doesn't feel like you've been here a year. No, it doesn't feel like you've been here a year, Dave. I mean, I kind of remember. I don't remember like um, like a like a like a landmark date or something like that. But I remember your name coming in one of the first times in chat. I always thought it was such a unique name, and I'm like, damn, that's, I like that name. It's kind of cool. And yeah, now you've been here a year. <laughs> it's a crazy, wild and crazy. But you know what? I, I do appreciate you continuing to come back and opening that tab and all that stuff. Took quite a bit though. Hey, yeah, no, no, all good, man. Um, Heaven on High is a little notorious. Like, I, I will argue that, um, you know, you, you don't always want to put the blame on RNG when it comes to Deep Dungeon. You can always try to find a way to get better. I mean, if anything, I'm showing proof of that with our last, like, literally, like, eight runs in Heaven on High. Like, we are getting up to 91 with, like, four to five floor wipes every single time. Every single time. It's going there. Um, however, I have had one or two or three runs, Master, where no matter what I did, and no matter what I tried to do, the game was just like, you know what? No. Fuck you, you're going to go back to one. So you probably have one of those runs, it happens, Heaven on High will do that sometimes, then it's okay. What you take out of it is how hard you fought with bad RNG, and then maybe next time, even with a little bit better RNG, just imagine how far you could have gone, right? That's how you kind of take it, so it's all good. Thank you for the insane amount of- aw, uh, thank, thank you for watching it for hours, dude. I'm just having fun, man. Hitting some buttons, playing some games, having some fun. You know, I know this is the weird part of, uh, 14. I think it still is, even though I've been doing this now for, like, three years. I've been streaming this, actually, for, like, three years now. Uh, yeah, like, two and a half. Like, seriously, like, two and a half, three years. Um, I mean, we've been doing the content longer than that, but... I still think this is the weirder content in the directory. You know, you're not really gonna see many people doing this in, in their streams. You know, it's oversaturated with the raid. You know, static PF raids, that's that's what entertains and what most people know about, but man, it is so nice to see that people enjoy watching this content. And you know, it's just it's just awesome. That I get to do something that is odd and weird, but you all enjoy it too. How do I keep myself from burning out? Um, you know, the schedule I do, Omni, uh, I'm sorry, Omnom, the way I'm kind of conducting my schedule, I think, has been a blessing in disguise. So originally, when I started doing scheduled streaming, back in 2019, I started with two days. I did a Tuesday and a Sunday. You know, I just wanted to ease on in, you know, I, I wanted to see how I felt with the, with the hours and stuff. And then I introduced Thursday. So we went Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And then eventually I introduced Friday, because I kind of- because actually, you know what's one reason I wanted to do the Friday? Straight up, because that's kind of a requirement of Twitch to try to go for Twitch partner. You had to go like X amount of days streaming in a month period. And basically going three days a week was not cutting it. Like if I miss one day, I missed the requirement, so I had to basically try to add in a day if I really wanted to go serious. Now, despite all that, aside from Thursday and Friday, Omnom, Every other day I get a break, right? Monday's a break, Wednesday's, Wednesday's a break, Saturday's a break. So I feel like that helps me kind of kind of cool down. I don't do deep dungeon off stream. I don't. Uh, I I don't need, I don't I barely touch deep dungeon off stream. If I do, it's only because I want to set up something. But it's very rare that I do deep dungeon off stream, so I get the break. And I think right now what you will see me do actually for the next couple of weeks is I go Palace of the Dead Tuesday Thursday. I go Heaven on High Friday Sunday. So I'm also breaking up, kind of, you know, not doing the same one back to back to back. Sometimes I am. If I'm really motivated and I really want the clear, you'll see me go back to back to back to back. But I think splitting up the splitting up the the palace and the heaven on high in different days has been also a good way of reducing the potential burnout. And I swap jobs all the time. 
I'm on different jobs constantly, you know? So I think that is what's been helping me not get burnt out for all this time doing this content for so long. It's just kind of been like a perfect recipe for me personally. You know, so we're not doing it every day. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, someone who streams five days a week and raids five days a week. You know, I get my breaks. Um, a little bit. I don't do too much in this game right now. Like, I, I try to craft my tomes right now. I craft a lot. I do craft. I, I actually just crafted a, a full set of gear for a friend of mine. Um, but outside of that, I'm usually logged in and I just kind of relax. Sometimes what I'll do, Cleric actually, because I have a lot of buddy friends who streams. I sometimes try to like, you know, this might sound negative, but I'm not doing it in a bad way. Sometimes I'll stream snipe. I'll watch my buddy stream and maybe they need people. I'm like, I'll go. I'll pop in. You know, I'll, I'll jump in the PF. I'll, uh, I'll queue up with the people. So I do that sometimes, just, you know, just to play with them and, and, and just do content with other people. But a lot of times I'm just basically on standby in the game. Um, and I'm doing, actually a lot of times I'm doing more video stuff for YouTube and all that stuff. Um, that's actually been taking up a lot of my time. Uh, and that's by my choice, like I'm choosing to do that. I don't have to, but that is what I choose to do. So I'm just logged in, just sitting around doing nothing and I'm uh, doing other things, so... Um, I mean, actually, what's going to be interesting is a, literally a month from now, because that's going to be the release of Elden Ring, and I'm interested in getting that game. So I'm going to be having another game that I'm finally playing. I, I'm actually, like, not going to lie, I'm kind of searching for a game to play on the offside, off-stream. However, I'm just like, no, 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 you got four games coming in in, like, a month. Just chill. So I'm actually just relaxing, watching some shows, catching up on some shows as I'm, you know, just... just in the times that I'm uh, on a dead period, so I think a lot of that helps with the potential burnout that I don't get burnt out because everything is kind of split up like that. Um, I mean, honestly, like there are a couple people like Finn, our buddy Finn, the Omni Clear Finn, Aurora, also like they are doing honestly more deep dungeon than I'm doing. I think Chela is probably doing more deep dungeon per day than I am doing. You know, I think a lot of the a lot of your your runners right now are just like doing more deep dungeon than I do on a weekly basis. So I think I like my pace right now. I like the way that it's 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 set up. It's like a really nice rhythm to work with. No I haven't. Elden will be the first time I'm playing any game of that genre. Never ever played a game of that genre. Never touched soul games, never touched the Kara, no, nothing. So I'm going to answer that fresh. I know they're good games. Everyone says they're good games. A lot of people have suggested that I should play said games. Uh, because of that roguelike type of feel, I think. Or the survival difficulty type of thing. But I know Elden Ring is getting a lot of hype and that's where I'm going to go into it. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Um, I don't know what platform I'm going to get it. What guys, what what would you recommend? What platform should I get it for? Which, what, what, what system should I get Elden Ring for? If you had to choose. How about I actually need to use how lots uh I think it's gonna be alright. Well I guess um See here's the thing. Oh, I don't care about that. Like, here's the thing. You have something like uh let's take near game the the game that's playing right now in the music square Enix has a little bit of a bad reputation for ports right so a lot of times like i probably would opt to get a near game on a console versus steam actually if i were ever to get automata i probably would opt to get it on a ps5 instead of steam so that's why i'm asking like do you think do you guys think elden would have that issue like would you guys know based on the soul series would there be an issue for me to potentially get it on PC, or like, would it be fine? Or should I get it on a console? So I haven't decided, like, I'm gonna get the game, I just don't know where I'm gonna get it. If security risk is the only thing, then I'm, I don't care, dude. I, I had to play a lot of other games that had those things, so... Should we find a ghost when you play? Elden Ring's fine on PC. DS, DS1 had issues, multi-issues with them, is spring cap. 
See, near replicant was frame cap, and that was a solid solution. But you had something like, you had something like near automata, which was like partially broken. You had something like Final Fantasy 13 2, which is a mess. You had something like, you know, 7 Remake, which is a bit of an issue right now, so... There was an Esprit Town recently that made like Ellen Ring... Remote Code Execution. Oh, is that the one that... Why Thello was referring to the security risk? Thello, is that the one that you were talking about? Wait, wait, what? Hold on. If they found the thing, why is it a concern? Why can't they just patch it? Ah, uh, so it's a potential issue. So you don't know if it's gonna be a thing. Baylong! Hey man! It's been a minute, how are you doing? Baylong job. So, so basically what I'm getting at is, uh, and what Tridab kind of reiterated right now, is I probably don't have to worry about the quality of the game on PC, right? I can play on probably controller, I shouldn't have any port issues, everything should function correctly. Took a little bit of a break? Hey man, it's okay, everyone needs a break here and there. Oh, it should be fine. Okay. Maybe I get on PC. My PC can handle it. My, my my PC is very good. It'll handle it. Um, I mean, it handled Cyberpunk, right? That's a good. That's a good indicator. It handled Cyberpunk, so we should be good. Clearly, Cyberpunk is a solid, uh, solid gauge of uh, a solid gauge of things. I guess I should ask you guys maybe on the 20th of, of whatever, of February, like five days before to see if like, I should be worried about the security risk. Yes, good old cyberpunk, yes. I wish the game was a little better, I actually had fun playing it. Until like, you know... I ran into a quest I could not finish because it glitched out. If you play offline, there's zero risk. Yeah. Why would I play online for multiplayer? Nah, I don't know if this is easy. Okay, I'll figure it out. I mean, I could totally play on PS5. I mean, PS5 was pretty spiffy, but my PC would be stronger than PS5. I struggle to enjoy Cyberpunk. Yeah, there are things in Cyberpunk that just annoyed me. Get invaded, I see. Yeah, I am Shinobi. I am 90% getting that game. I tried the demo and I was very... I was pulled in. So I'm 90% buying that game. That game, I will get it on PS5. I think that probably has a Steam release, I'm getting that on PS5, that's without a question. I'm just unfamiliar with Souls games, that's all. Oh goodness. That sounds like... That sounds like Tridab, something where that might be fun for chat interaction, would you think so? Thanks to Kishima, I learned so much, I've already followed, but I'm sure will be- Hey, Omnom, appreciate you visiting the stream, I'm glad, hopefully some of the information was really useful to you, and hey man, come on back whenever you feel like it, and love talking with you, dude. I heard of this series, but I have never seen the game. You're probably going to try the other ones at some point? No, probably not. The reason why I'm probably not is because I am currently in a mode to um, to play more current games and release games. I am not really into going backwards and playing older games right now. Also, there's like a lot of games coming out. So, so like, <clears throat> like for instance, like 
people were telling me, hey, try the other Tales games, or like, try the other Fire Emblem games, I'm like, uh... Try Persona, you know? I'm like, no, I'll wait for the new Persona, and like, well, you're gonna wait for like 10 years? I'm like, fine, I'll wait 10 years, I'm not gonna- well, I'm not gonna play an old game. <laughs> That's just how it is for me, I just wanna play a newer version. Uh, probably have to wait a bit. Oh no, I'll get on PS5. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get Change of Paradise on PS5, I don't want on PC. That's a Square Next game. That could get problems for PC. I am perfectly fine with that being a console game. And I have a PS5. My PS5 is- actually my PS5 here is probably like, you know, in hibernation because I haven't used it in a while, but... Um... Ella, Artflow, hey thanks for the follow, welcome in. It looked great. I mean, it was definitely hilarious when that game first was getting talked about, Sh Shinomi, right? When the trailers first came out, you couldn't stop hearing the chaos meme. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Everyone was making fun of the game for the fucking memes. And then the demo came out. And then like, I remember like the vast majority of people, after trying the demo, they're like, Guys, this game is actually really good. <laughs> and like the meme was still there, but everyone's just like, wow, this game is actually really good. Holy shit. <laughs> Cause you would think like, you know, the meme would like destroy the game, it would just make it like really funny, like, okay, all you remember is the meme, who cares about the fucking game? No, people like the game. So And I like the game too, it sold me. I was like, holy shit, I'm actually gonna think about playing this game now. I really struggle to go back to DS 1 and 2, but D3 and Bloodborne always hold up extremely well. Sakura is quite possibly my favorite game ever. Yeah, I've seen some Sakura playthroughs. Hey, Zorn Twitch. I don't know if you're a fan of games done quick, because I will always remember this now. But they get games done quick about two or three weeks ago. They had a speedrunner clear Sekiro blindfolded, beginning to end. Yeah, it was insane, dude! Oh my god. I and I like I watched a handful of playthroughs, I never played the game, but I knew what that what that was, like how hard that run was going to be. And I was just like, oh my god, this is just awesome, you know? I barely touched my TS5, I need to remember to Oh yeah, yeah, days, same. I need to remember to update, that's a good point. The last time I played on PS what did I play on PS5? Oh, Tails. I played Tails of Rise on PS5. That's the last thing I played there. Play Tails. Yeah, no, well, originally tried out. Originally tried out. The memes came out before we had access to the game. So all that people were talking about was not about this, like, new Final Fantasy game that was gonna be released. It was just like, oh, chaos memes. This game must be stupid because of the chaos memes. But then the opinion really changed dramatically when people actually got to try the game. Like, the memes were still there. But then people were acknowledging the fact that this game was actually gonna be pretty good. So it never, it didn't become like a, you know, like a really bad meme. It was just kind of more of a, you know, just a pure hilarity meme kind of thing. Um, which is great. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah! They, dude, they melt that, man. It's like they had something going with the chaos memes, they had to go further. I saw a video tried to have. Uh, someone, a good friend of mine posted it, it was just a retweet, but basically, like, I know they, they played the Limp Bizkit song, but they, someone changed the song and they changed it to Smash Mouth. They changed the music to Smash Mouth, I'm like, perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Yeah, chicken soup, yeah. And they doubled down on making even more memes about it. Um... You know, like, it was pretty brave, honestly, like, it was a brave, bold move to make a meme out of a game that people were going to digest, and then it actually still being really good. So, it was a bold move, and now it has a lot of really respectable hype, I feel like. Oh shit, the exit is goddamn, it's this one. I don't know which means I fight the kill cat. Evan! Hey, Evan Solo. Solo Bay, thanks for follow-up, man. 
15. I think I remember that, yeah. Shit, the exit's here. Nah, I'll just go the exit. I don't, I don't care about the score. I'm, dude, I don't even know if I'm gonna clear, so... Ah, this is Warrior, guys. Welcome to Warrior. Welcome to tank runs. Slow AF. But it's alright, I get to chat with you guys a little bit more. I'm gonna have to move faster later, but... I think I have to pull that other Gale Cat. Yeah, I absolutely have to. I gotta start- once we get back Thursday, I gotta start bringing in my, my strats, man. Silver chest strats. You know, pulling multiple enemies at once. We gotta start getting into that Thursday, but this is the nice warm-up. Gives me the good kind of feel of what Warrior's given me, and this is what I remember from, from old school Warrior. Your DPS sucks ass until you use Berserk. <laughs> and between Berserk is just like la 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 la, wet noodle, la la la, you know? Kinda lame. But that's just what the experience is gonna be. This is tank runs. And tank runs are so much better in Heaven on High. Palace, you're just missing stuff. Damage is not as respectable. Worst trip? Hey! Five months! Hey, thanks for the resub, dude. A lot of resubs today. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you for the continued support. Five months in a row. I really appreciate that. How are you doing? Really, guys, I am just very appreciative that a lot of you guys continue to support the stream. It means a ton. You better believe we are going to keep going with what we are doing. We're going to keep creating content in here and... Try to get more and more people up in here to uh, to check out the content, you know. Yeah, um, it's been good. I've been busy, good, good busy. You know, still in here hunting down my clears, hunting down different jobs. So, um. We're still busy, but everything's been going pretty well. Does the impossible... Wait, what did I say? What did I say was impossible? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what just said like, three seconds ago. Gauge. Ugh, it's so long. I think this is more whatever, because this is really easy. Oh. You mean like the enemies listed as as, as impossible? Like do they yeah, well, I mean, a Frost Dragon is still gonna be not... You would prefer not to fight a Frost Dragon, that's for sure. Um... It, um... I can kill an Anzu, but the thing is, like... There's certainly a big difference, 34, between being able to kill something and it being worth killing. So, like, for instance, take something like a Wolf, a wolf, I can kill a wolf pretty easily, but what's the problem with a wolf? A wolf has Sanguine Bite, so it gives you a dot plus it heals itself. So that means the fight is getting, and especially in a tank where it's already, it's gonna take a long time to kill it to begin with. You're talking about an enemy that heals itself no matter what. So you literally could just pull absolutely anything else on the floor, even a Mimic, and it's, you're probably gonna kill it faster than a wolf. An Anzu stunlocks you, kind of. He stuns you constantly. So you could have pulled an ape, and probably killed an ape faster than you kill an Anzu. So there's a couple enemies where it's just better to just like, not fight them if you can help it. Um, but I can kill an Anzu, I can kill a wolf, those are doable. 
Uh, Frost Dragon is one that I probably don't want to ever fight. Because, you know, the DOT is just very strong there. Um, but yeah. Definitely some enemies that you don't want to touch at all. Not that they're completely impossible, there's just a lot of issues that can happen when you try to pull them. I kind of laughed when I saw that Warrior got a Tomahawk pull. Why'd you laugh, man? It's a serious buff, dude. Literally game-changing for Warrior, man. Warrior was missing, like, one thing to fill out its kit. And it got the one thing it needed. The healing stuff? Nah, that's fine. That wasn't overpowered. Who cares about the healing? That's exactly how it's supposed to function. Nah, dude. Tomahawk. OP, dude. OP as hell. I just messed up my, uh... I shouldn't have done that, because now I only get two failed fades in a Berserk. I need to manage my rotation a little better. Hey, Loken, thanks for lasting as long as you did. This is a lot longer than, uh... You know, some of the other ones, like, like Machinist I'd be done by now, Summoner would be done by now, but thanks for hanging as long as you did, Loken. I shall catch you next time, my friend. Well, now I heard Paladins are soloing P1 now, man. Heard there was a Paladin that just soloed P1, so... Good CT, my friend. This kind of makes me want- this makes me crave a DPS when I do Warrior. Yeah, I want to get back on a DPS or something, you know? It's alright, it's part of the challenge. I have 10 more floors, everyone. 10 more floors, probably about 30-40 minutes remaining. Let's finish this out, let's go. Good start. One more hour? No. I hope not. If it takes an hour, I'm gonna time out. I think for Warriors specifically, tank in general, are 180 and time management high floors. Yep, 180 probably I'd say is the most difficult. Uh, you can certainly, I mean, for a lot of more more kind of start, like newer players and maybe like first timers, time is certainly going to be an issue on a tank. I don't think I'm actually going to be worried about time on this job. I'm just worried about 180. I can find ways to speed up on this on this class. I'm not going to be concerned about it. It's just 180 that I'm concerned about. That's it. It's 180, man. be one of the ways we try to speed up. Uh, if we're doing big pulls like this, we are going to save time because this will do overall more damage. Which I didn't do previously, but I really need to do this a lot more. Not to mention I'm not going to be in risk of dying at all. Open 
sesame. Thank you. Uh, I have to pull the pudding. Pudding is just like legit in the way. He's also proximity, so that's why he has to go. Intuition. Welcome to bots, I guess. I don't want the toad. Ooh, this will make life a lot easier. Easy pull. Five kills right off the bat. And the heals were perfect. Steel was helping, but that's what I gotta do on the floors moving up. That is our game plan right now. That's the exit. Um, might only need one more. Toads here, holy crap. Oh my god, there's a lot of toads in here. I don't want to deal with multiple. Oh fuck, well, I was gonna say, I don't want to deal with multiple toads, and here we are dealing with multiple toads. Definitely don't want to slime either. Pull. Watch out, because I know this patrol is floating around here. Thank you. 
nice and clean. Damn it. I'll just bypass it. We'll fight the pudding. Slimes are sound, so that's why I can RP walk and not aggro. Nice, strength, good. Okay. Something just spawned here. God damn it. Uh, don't aggro. Okay. Okay, so far so good. I'm actually on pace for a speed run. Safety, yes, please. That's actually really good. It looks like that's gonna be multiple rooms, so I'm gonna check this one in case this is a dead end. It is not a dead end. So, ooh, um, yeah, I don't need to surrender yet. That's the exit. I'm actually gonna back out. I'll swim me. Because I wanted the sprint, that's why I did the serenity. I kind of wanted the sprint. Uh, check the chests. Rishon. Check the furthest chest. I'm probably gonna re up steel at some point. Okay, I want the Urgonite. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take the pudding with me. A lot of fates. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I can. You have to do the shared fates, yeah. No, I do not want to go there. Chest because it is blocked right now. Period. Okay. Oh, it's like pushing through a lot of 14 songs right now. Doesn't want to let 14 go, apparently. So, two Cobras, great. I definitely don't want to deal with them. Multiple. One at a time. They do poison, that's why it's bad.
points. Kinda don't want the pudding. Let me see what's in the other room first before we really pull something else. It's because the Cobra gives a poison, that's why I don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, so it's gonna pass with this something else. And we got a Nanka. I don't want to do a slime and not an AoE. So we got four. Something we'll kill the slime that's here. Oh, never mind, we'll kill the uh, mimic that's here. Just kidding about the slime. Watch my back in case the cobra is coming, which sometimes it actually is a good chance it might be. This is, I think, a flight. Okay, next floor is flighted. Still kind of on track for a bit of a speed run, which is kind of fun. Good. Time is being saved, let's go. Trying to get past Scopa? <laughs> It's gonna be really hard to do, so I can, like, if I had sprint, I could probably do it, but. Oh, goddamn, I got him anyway. Alright, well, we'll just do it. Morning, Setsu. How you doing? No other patrols are coming in. Fog and war. Oh, yo, let's go, man. You and me, let's do it. Oh fuck, it's treasure room. Anti exit. Check the chest. Switching. I'm probably just gonna go after I check this chest because the O2 is prox. Well, that O2 is prox. But, you know. See what we can manage. Okay, well, we got another one. Hey, uh. Let's 
really annoying. When you, what you've seen, I'm gonna... Um, I have a game plan. I'm actually not gonna look up any video for Behemoth. I'm just gonna go YOLO, plan it out in my brain, and we'll see how it works. It'll give me the best understanding overall. Uh, but I do have a plan that I want to execute. Kind of working it out. I'm gonna think more about it Thursday. But I'm hoping it'll work out. Yeah. I like I like doing that frog a little bit, trying to figure it out on my own. And then I'll probably reference videos once I get stuck, you know. But but it's a little bit easier than say Bard. Bard I really had to look up something. Because it's just so complicated with that whole thing. Like if I ever do dancer. If I ever do Dark Knight, you know, I'll definitely look up something because it's just so galaxy brain, you know, but the warrior one is just understanding my, my cooldowns and when it's using it, so. Demaste! Hey! Yo, what up, dude? Shout out. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney! Yo! I know that's a pretty good game. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How is stream? Welcome bringing in your community over. Hello, guys. My name is Angelus Demonus. I do Deep Dungeon Solo in Final Fantasy XIV. This is basically all I do on stream. It's a little different than your typical, uh, your typical XIV content, but it is the content I love to do by myself. And, uh, it is one hell of a challenge, that's for sure. But, uh, welcome in. Um... Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful stream over there at the Masse stream. Um, yeah, how was how did it go? I hope uh, I hope potentially I'm not you're not getting blocked by my uh, phone verification issue. <laughs> but you know, if that's the case, I apologize. I do uh, I do appreciate your your kindness and bringing your team over here. Sometimes I feel like that's the reason people can't talk right away, not because, you know, maybe they like bailed or something, it's like literally they just have to verify their, their account. <laughs> I remember that, 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 I remember that, it's such a funny story, uh, Shenpai, who, who, who was Lone Hero by the way, Lone Hero Shenpai on Warrior. They visited the stream, and they didn't verify their phone. Uh, and they were like, they like literally didn't know how to do it. And they were like sending in like $5 donations with TTS being like, how do I set it up? I'm like, oh my god, I feel so bad. It's hilarious. Thank you for- Hey, aw, thank you. Aw, it really means a lot. Thank you for bringing your crew over. You know, I'm sure, you know, I do my best, but I'm also sure that you're putting out great stuff on your end too, so. How is, how is Ace Attorney? You know, that's, that, that's one game that I've watched people play, and I know there's such a fan base around it, but I don't know if I'll ever play it, but I think I do enjoy watching it, you know? I think it's a good stream game to watch. Um, so I hope you had a lot of fun with that. I love the emotes, by the way. You are used to it in for, uh, for Shenpai? Oh my god, that was so funny. Huge respect for Shenpai. Did Chaylor's fall I found you first and became interested? Oh. Well, we won't tell Chaylor, okay? Chaylor, Chaylor, there's, there's a lot of things we need to talk about with Chaylor, man. You know? Just things we need to discuss with her and sit her down one time and... <laughs> you know, just talk with her, you know. Human to human. <laughs> but I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's here! Yeah, she's always here though. Acer 30, so it's kind of fun, I'm sure. Rip, don't worry about it. We weren't talking about anything. I appreciate, I appreciate the, the raid. <laughs> yeah, Chayla is an intervention, dude. Even pins on it, man. Oh, I need to change the music. Hold on, sorry. Uh, yo, spawning pin, let's go. I do a marble. I do that one too. Come here, marble. I need to park under your butt. Come here. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. But you had the option to refuse. You could have been like, pinned. No. Fuck you, dude. Why would I? <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, my playlist is just like, let's finish up with 14 music. This is giving 14 music all day. What is that? This entire set. It is. Okay, let's just go this way first. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's not that's not the exit, no. Hey Morbol, I got something for you. Just kidding. Oh my god. So sucks. I feel like I'm in an expert dungeon, guys. Where my healer can be of any skill level, I'm just gonna pull everything forever. And deal with it. There's one time I had a healer. I was being like really sarcastic, like super sarcastic. Uh, and they were being very nice, and at least they took they took to the joke, which was great. But they go... Uh, I think I was in Katissus. And they're like, uh... Hi! You can pull to whatever you feel like. I don't mind. So I go... Okay, so I'm gonna pull one at a time and RP walk the entire way. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I'm gonna RP with every single enemy one at a time. Is that alright with that pull? Do you find no you I do you approve of this? And they're like, you know what? Whatever your heart desires. I'm like, damn, sweet, let's go. I didn't do that by the way. But it would have been hilarious. <laughs> Not that I could even single pull anyway. Although that still would have been hilarious to begin with. And I wonder if they would have truly gotten pissed if I actually went and did that. So RP walk down the dungeon, single, like, pull enemies little by little and just kill them one at a time, you know? Whoops. <laughs> no, because that doesn't exist. Wait, oh, did I see install? Oh, we finished out Christ's core, that's good. I'm gonna... Shrank here. Oh! That's not a good combo. That's okay, that doesn't kill me. RP walk, add some emotes before each pull. Yeah! You know, have a story. Be like a tour guide. This right here is a gigantic lion on fire. Why it's here, no one knows. Battle ready. <laughs> yeah. Gotta take it seriously. No, but they are great. I just I just thought that was funny. I think it was one of the first times like the person was just totally game with whatever the hell you wanted to do. Very nice, very kind. Observation. I 
I did not find the exit. That is an alteration. My steel is dropping, but that's okay. I have a witching. This is not the exit, although we could probably pick up something decent. So it could be hunting down a shanking steel. Yeah, steel, good. Perfect, perfect timing for that to show up. Let's bring in the in-game music. What's playing? This is a uh, factorial continuum, I think. Oh god, I gotta pull this thing. It's okay. I'll build gauge on your ass. How long do you think you can multipole? Till 200. I don't know. Well, the thing is, I think I need to multipole until like... I need to keep multipoling as much as humanly possible. And take advantage of raw tuition. And I gotta do like triple minimum. It has to be at least three. So, I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying and pushing the limits. I gotta save time on this job. This job's gotta save time, so... <clears throat> we'll see how I feel. I was doing a lot of that with steel though. Also, what Siren said is true. That is not a false statement. Congratulations on Paladin! Sword Mage, as they call it. I like to lust here. I want to get all the bees together, then we do our first lusts. I do want the bees when they show up, priority. Holding gauge for the bees. They all spawn so far away, what the fuck? like the perfect example of like warrior and kind of the damage problem. Oh my god, I missed a DC. Yeah, 
Dude, with Foam Gang. I was actually debating on like letting one go. Actually, I kind of want to do that. I do actually want to let one go. Um, because I remember someone talking about how it was possible to survive 1B. You can't survive 2, but you can survive 1. But I think I pushed this boss way too far already. I don't know if we can do that, but I want to try it. I have raising, so let's give it a shot. We're science, guys. We're science. I kill one bee and we leave one alive. We're science. I have heals. I have equilibrium. Thousand, not bad. Versus what do I have? Maximum HP? Thirteen thousand. Not bad. I mean, I guess you keep up time. Now that that wizard would steal on. It's all right, Ethereum. It's, it's all good, dude. If you want to argue uptime, you can take that. That take at least one. I know someone suggested that, and I, again, I'm a safe gamer. I like to game safely, but hey, we made it work. So, all right, team, that was the goal, 120. Uh, what I always like to do with runs like this is uh, I'll show you the file. Oops, I just spilled water all over my thing. I'll show you the file, and then this will be what we continue with on uh, Thursday. There you go, 121. Thursday will be the continuation of this one. Hey, but I do appreciate y'all hanging around and, and watching the stream. I hope you had a good time. Warrior is going to be fun. This was actually long. Uh, but this is exactly what I expect from Warrior. Um, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you for all the raids and the follows and everything. Um, if you haven't already, join the Discord. Really busy, and if anything, you can park yourself there because it's gonna get real busy once that next Deep Dungeon rolls around. Twitter, I announce it go live, and I announce I, I post some videos there here and there. But YouTube's actually really busy. There's almost a video showing up on YouTube every day. So if you haven't followed the YouTube, that's where a lot of the vods will go up there, and a lot of the guides and everything. So I'm gonna be releasing uh, another short tomorrow on YouTube. So definitely check it out. Uh, but that's what we got today. Thank you guys for being here. Um, yeah, it's bedtime for me too. It's time to sleep for me. So let's go say uh, let's go say hello to someone in the directory to see uh, who we got. Um, I always kind of get into the mood of hope, like hoping we raid someone that I haven't raided in a while or before. Um, maybe we go to. Let me see though. I, I do want to kind of maybe go to a good buddy of mine. Uh, let me pop this one open first. Uh... Yeah, okay. We'll go to, um... Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't go here. Whoops. Alright, well... I kind of wanted to go there, but I can't go there. Alright, so we're going to go to my team leader of Drifters. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am on a Twitch team, Team Drifter. And we're going to go to the leader of that team, Miss Darian Hart. Uh, she's awesome, a good friend of mine. I've known her for quite a while on Twitch now. Um, she's an artist, raider, extraordinaire. She's great. And uh, if you haven't visited her before, definitely give her a visit. I think she should continue streaming. She's, she she was like live before I went live, but she should keep going. So, um, you did, but I'll catch you Thursday. Thursday we'll be back nine o'clock Eastern, um, to continue this file one twenty one. Again, thank you all for being here. I hope to catch you then. Have a good day. Have a good day tomorrow. And um, I'll catch you. See you guys. Let's go raid Miss Darren. Good night.